fucking sluts, and he's the slut maker. How is he a makes slut a maker? Difference. Makes a difference because women are sluts. Yeah. Guys can't be sluts. Yeah, guys no. can. Be I'm sluts. just a guy with a dick. <laughs> he's a slut maker. I'm just in the room, man. <laughs> yeah, she fell on my dick, officer. I swear. <laughs> oh boy, that's ooh ooh. Ooh, that's... I don't know why I said officer. Yeah, I would say that seems like defending uh, rape. Yeah. Which, you know... Get well, you gotta you gotta, yeah. <laughs> if, unless you got a consent form signed, you know. You said no. Don't. Don't stop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Some of them are into that. That's the thing. Uh, Choke me. I mean, what do you do, yeah, with, you know, the girls that like to get s- smacked around and shit a little smack bit? around, I guess? Oh, my oh, God. You know, annoying. Max are... Did you hear him? No. You, uh, so. Who was the guy that put the underwear in the mouth and the girl started crying? <laughs> one of your friends, Holy I shit, thought. What? what? Yeah, I thought it was either like Bryce or um, Danny or Austin told me the story about this. I never told. You don't remember it? I don't remember this. Story. <clears throat> they were dating someone, and it was during Fifty Shades of Grey, and they were like driving home somewhere from somewhere, and he's she's like, I want you to take my panties off. Shove him in my mouth and fuck me tonight. So he's like, okay, you know, we'll yeah, do that. Sounds like something Bryce would do. <laughs> and then as soon as he started doing it, she started crying. <laughs> so he stopped. He's like, what's wrong? You know, she's like, I just can't believe you would do that to me. <laughs> you know, now I kind of remember that. But... I don't remember who it was. I just remember the story. Because <laughs> it's... You could totally just see a fucking girl doing that shit. <laughs> you would do that to me. Yeah, you asked me to do that. Oh, God. <laughs> well, don't stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Max, he he dated a girl that liked to get roughed up, and <laughs> she was like asking him like, "Slap me," and he you know he did a little tap. Yeah, it's Max. She's I like, can't imagine he's no, do it harder. So finally, I guess one time he worked up enough courage to like really slap her, and then never talk to her again. <laughs> <laughs> Dated it for two or three months or something like that, I believe. Uh, just ghosted her after that? Yeah, Dan was the one who told me the story. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, got really freaked out by it. And was just like, yeah, I'm not going to talk to her anymore. Yeah, makes sense. I've ha- had a, <laughs> known some girls that like to get choked before. It's, oh, yeah. You, I mean, yeah, it's fun. A lot of f- girls like that. It's fun for a little while, but then also sometimes you they take it a little too far. You're like, yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> I don't want to fucking crush your trachea a, and shit, you know? God, well, I mean, there's a way to do it where you're not, like, really choking them. I know, but that's what she wanted, though. That, oh. That, that makes me nervous because I would go... I, I'm just afraid I'd go full Lenny and just... <laughs> 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 yeah, I could see that very I mean, easily. Because uh, I'm very large. In real life, I'm very large. Are you? Yes. How just large, large are you now? Being. Still, I'm still 6'6". Six, six. No, uh, you've lost some weight, though? Yes. Wait, How much? Down to 3'10"? 3'11", uh, last hit, time hit, you told me? Uh, I'm consistent 3'11 in the mornings now. I saw... I'm still... I saw the down. the videos that you posted a long uh, time ago. Probably about a year ago now. Yeah. Yeah, in the winter when I had some fucking time, yes. Yeah. Um, but you, it was just noticeable. It was like, whoa! John looks way better now, you know? You said so, it looked good then?! No, you still you just, you just look say no. You just looked a little jollier, you know. Jolly? Oh, I oh. What? That, I, oh, I hate that. Oh, that's that jolly. You're jolly. Uh, it was worse, probably worse than Big Bone, right? I like, have big bones. <laughs> well, physically, I mean. I mean, could because of all the fat. They fuck have you. To get bigger. Well, can you can you put your fingers around your wrist? Um, I think you've talked to me about like this, this before. Yeah. Yeah. Not even well. Right. That is that's like body fat. That's my know? bone, dude. Isn't it? Isn't it also something like? Go ahead. No, there's also all Go that ahead. that layer of fat. And I don't need to do it. Grab I, my arm. I can see you. Grab you can't do it. I can't do it. Grab my arm. I can barely do it. Grab but that's arm. a body fat thing. That's where that's where you they test body fat at, right? Have you ever done that done test? Uh, there's no fat here. It's all we skin. we used we used to do it in uh for wrestling. You, it's like this pinchy thing that grabs and then like the cal- when it, it's a caliper. Sure. When it when it when it let goes of the fat layer, it like can tell how much body fat you have or hmm. whatever. And um, <sighs> yeah, I had like too low a body fat to like cut weight. Like nowadays, they would not have let me do any of the cutting weight. But back then, they didn't have that rule. We were just like, oh, it's just good to know. Now I'm fucking lose twenty Grab my pounds. Arms. Other arm, <sighs> my other arm. No, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't a point out about him. So I, I, that's my favorite bit. I don't know if I remember. Oh yeah, part. when um, oh crap, uh, the MMA guy, 
It's like, you picture Roundhouse coming in these bad boys, the American oh, flight fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he goes, he's like, grab my arm. Other arm. My my other arm. Because he's like, anyway, it's just, that movie is so like subtle. I like that. That's why I like that movie so much. It's very, very, very dry. That's one of the movies I love that dry humor. a lot of people can enjoy. If they give it time. Like Even my dad sat through it for an hour. And then when the farmer shut the cow in front of the kids, <laughs> he lost it. What in the movie? movie the bull in Dynamite. Oh. <laughs> There's just that one shot of all the kids going, ah! <laughs> My dad fucking lost it. It was quite hilarious because we were laughing through the entire thing, you know? Yeah. And he was just looked like he was miserable. And then finally, oh, my, to oh, him. Yeah, my, my parents love My mom loves it because she likes stories of wasted youth. I don't know why. And my dad likes it, but also he's like, where? Is she a fan of the where? song Baba O'Reilly? I, I don't know what that song is. Teenage Wasteland? Oh, well, probably. I'm guaranteed uh, she is. But, but then my dad likes it because he's all like, this is what happens. This is what happens when there's no parents. This is what happens. You're lucky. I'm like, yeah, thanks. What happened? The Poland Dynamite happened? I don't know. Because there's no parents. It's only his grandma and his weird uncle. Oh, yeah, yeah. But dude, I, I, my, I still love the just like, it's it's dry. Then there's that straight up slapstick where Rico just throws a stake at Napoleon on the bike. I mean, like, what the fuck? Who thinks of this shit? It, it just kind of wrote, wrote itself. I mean, is, you that, know? is that National Lampoons? I mean, is that who is that? I mean, it, it's it, such it, a dry, it, good movie. You I mean, never saw the uh, there's like a short film they made originally with uh, Napoleon. Uh, it's called I think it's called Napoleon Dynamite again too. Huh. And it's the same bit on the bus, him throwing the thing out or whatever, and I think going through a. Um, thrift store finding weapons and shit or something um and, it, and, I, and you can see like the idea is there like in this little short film or whatever mm-hmm. and then yeah it won at some uh you know film festival in idaho or something yeah, you know yeah, and I they're mean, just yeah. like or probably oregon maybe even washington who it's knows just a- but then they're like all right here's you know 10 grand Go do it again. And he's like, I will just remake or, you know, finish this short yeah, or whatever. I can't imagine it's a high budget on that thing. No. No. Not but at like, all. I mean, I guess when I think of an indie film, that's what I think of. Because it's like, there's no point to it. There's very little art. Um, but there's it's like, kind of there's like themes and it's artsy, you know, it's yeah. like uh, filmed cinematography. Yeah. Can't yeah. ever say that fucking word. What's the word? Cinematography. Oh, yes. Very good it's mise en scene as well. It's wow. the way the characters move across the screen. Oh yeah, yeah, left to right oh, okay. or whatever, or where they're placed at and stuff. Like there, it's more than you know. Honestly. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And there's so there's so much that I forget about, like the time machine out of nowhere and just shocking his nads. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why did yeah, that come? Like, from? Why is that in this movie? Could have told you it didn't work or whatever. I, oh, I don't yeah. know. I feel like I remember I listening. Watched that movie in so long. I don't remember a lot of it. I remember listening to it. Uh, the or not listening to the um, director's commentary about it one mm. time too. That's why I used to buy DVDs. I would yeah. always do that. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm sure you've watched the Lord of the Rings commentaries. Um, yeah. I don't, actually, Derek had those DVDs. I don't I remember those all in like high school. Well, we used to watch them. We used to have days where we would watch all that shit. Yeah. The reason I ask is because, like, my parents, I, my dad got it. Like, you know, the original book came out. Then we got the extended version, of course, of the and then extended, extended, extended version. Yeah. And then we, I have never watched that movie with the original audio for since, like, I saw it in theaters. We've, really? I've only ever watched it with because I like watching it and hearing about it. I don't think I've ever seen the Fellowship or Two Towers extended. Maybe two towers extended. I know I I've tried, seen the return. So HBO has all the extended shit on there right now, and I tried oh, really? watching. I don't remember which one. It's like five fucking hours long. Yeah. Return of the King is definitely five That's hours. Insane. Yeah, uh, it's def- I mean, I watched um, I was sick a couple years ago and did Lord of the Rings, and then the next day I did The Hobbit, and then I wanted to kill myself after that. Well, I can't, speak- I can't believe I watched all well, three of those movies again. I watched of, all three of them here recently. Uh, uh, speaking sorry. of disappointments. Or not. Have you been watching The Rings of Power? I watched the first episode last night because I knew we were going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. I have not watched any of it yet. And oh, come on! I, you me, Davis motherfucker! Oh. Hey, we, ha- we were on vacation. Yeah, yeah I was out of town. What's vacation, man? It means you leave me and I'll never come back. <laughs> and first impression, I really did not like Galadriel. She's young. She's only a thousand. Yeah, she's bitchy. She's on a mission. 
see, fuck you. How come when guys are assertive, they're manly and, and, and assertive, but guys, when women are assertive, they're penises. bitches? Because we have penises. Oh, talk about oh this. I forgot. The penis it. points the way. Sorry, I'm with that. Sorry. Obviously. But yeah, like, it, um, it, and I can see that. I, I, you know. I think I like the Hobbit part the most. I mean, that's probably a given. I haven't seen any dwarves fun, yeah. yet. I was kind of... Uh, yeah, second episode. You'll get there. Yeah. But a lot of stuff yeah, that, like, it's just boring, the fact man. that the way... They've been making this for, like, three years now. And the just the... <sighs> The production is great, but then all of a sudden, then you start seeing little things like, "Why'd you do that?" Type of things like, like the cinema. It's like watching. It's like, "Holy shit!" It's a fire. Awesome. So cool. It's fire gr- so cool. I mean, it's it's it looks amazing. Right? Is the younger Galadriel um, into choking? Probably. She's into stabbing. We know that. She's definitely got and, a big metaphor. Killer. How many penis. episodes are out right now? Two. Second one comes out tomorrow. Third one or tonight? Sorry, third one comes out tonight or tomorrow. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. Um, but the, I might watch the second one tonight. Uh, but a lot of stuff people have pointed out that the, since since day one when it was launched, people are p- pissing about the elves not having long hair. And I'm like, f- is it just a bitch to manage do on they, screen? Do you think it is grows it, super slow? Well, that's I'm, I was I was thinking about it today on my route because I plenty of time to think. Obviously, and it's like a. That's one of them. Is it they're fucking old, so it takes forever to age. I mean, hair. B, it wasn't the style. They yeah. have styles too. Yeah, there's whole ages and shit. You know. You know what I'm saying? You know, people keep. Well, uh, Galadriel's got long hair though. She's a chick though. Wow, what's the style? Well, yeah, but dudes long hair. I mean, no, the king has long hair, doesn't he? Kinda. Well, that, I get to that one in a second. But so, Lee Pace was the best part of the Hobbit series. Lee Pace as as a. Uh, Oh my God, Thrandil, Thrand, Thr- Thr- the Elf King, the Wood Elf King. Lee Pace was the Wood Elf King, and the man, Hobbit. I don't even remember him as much. Okay, he he is. The I know the part where they, fu- right I mean, before they like, float down. Whoa, the river. Like his like whoa, right? He's elfin as fuck, right? Yeah. But even the king Gilgalad, like he's not wearing a crown or adornments, or there's no. It's just some guy standing there. It doesn't look. He doesn't look like the fucking Kelsey. As, King. as you know, uh, th- cinematic as it is, like it looks beautiful, but also kind of like the costumes are terrible. I hated that one elf that had the tree like thing on his chest. Like I mean, that was so dumb. The, like the ranger elf or like the, the black elf. Yeah, the black elf. Yeah, with the ranger thing. Of course, people. I cannot believe. I, did they all, did I, they all have the that one, other ranger post or whatever. I, I think well, it's a uniform. I assume probably. I, well, I cannot stand peep fans of things I like. Because they, the, the Lord of the Rings Twitter had to come out with like a statement. They're like, you know, we're not, you know, you can hate us and be as racist as you want. We're still going to be here. We're still going to do this. And we appreciate I the don't fans. think people are racist like, about it. Holy crap. I mean, just, just the shit that is spewing out of the internet. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Disney did the same thing with Star Wars. In what, in what manner? They, they talked about the, the Reva had to come out and say, or no, she didn't come out and say anything. Ewan had to come out and defend her. Oh yeah. And then Disney yeah. like well, t- Twittered about it and shit. Like I said, I don't understand. Like if you, if you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. God. I, I think, I I think that's, me that's more when it's just like terrible. They don't like it. I'm not enjoying uh, it so far with one episode. I'm like, I'm not thrilled about this series. And also it's also it's if, prime, right? Think about prime, it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you also had just seen the first hour of fellowship, yeah. Would it be as epic? You know, I might wait for this series to, to end eh, and then binge saying, this one. Well, either way, I mean, they are following the Silmarillion pretty decently. Uh, my dad's like loving it. Really? He's on the Silmarillion a fucking thousand times. I don't think they um, have the rights to the Silmarillion. They, they don't kind of, so they're kind of doing something weird. Anyway, uh, but uh, one thing that someone did point out was Celebrimbor. The, oh, have you seen Celebrimbor? Oh, never mind. Celebrimbor is younger. These, what are these words, Derek? Is like... Half elf. He, he's he's a lot younger than Galadriel, but in the movie, in the show, he's like an old man. It's weird looking. It's kind of weird. So I don't know. I, maybe I'm just not into these elves so far. Maybe. I need more elf. I need more hobbits and they're, dwarves. Yeah, yeah. They're they're mm. so you can't. But look, okay, I need more elves choking elves. Same thing. Yeah, with, I'd like to see some elf on elf action. Suck I, my I think we were, weren't we promised titties in this series too? I don't think we were promised titties. Oh, are you serious? I don't think so. Is it out of uh, PG rating? I don't know. No uh, elf tits. Oh, uh, man, are, are they are they t- pointing? No are they pointing too? <laughs> are the elf tits pointing too? No penises. Oh, of course they're pointy. <laughs> Those like banana tits. Like, nope. well, so, uh, have you guys watched House of Dragons yet? <coughs> oh, yeah. They had yeah. the first butthole on screen. Yes. Yeah. I think we talked about that the first after the first uh, one. Yeah. Did we? 
Yeah. Probably. Have you seen I think I was one that brought it up. Or I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I'm caught up. Yes. That, I'm, caught I'm, up I'm that. I am loving Lord of the Rings or House oh, of the Dragons. Excuse yeah, me. That's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Yes. I'm not disappointed so far, and I am looking forward to the next episode. The dragon battle was dope. I like how they're like moving the fuck along. With yeah, the they story. skipped three I years like that last one. Shit. Well, that. it's gonna slow down too. Yeah, it'll I, slow. It's I think showed... I think the f- next seasons once the war starts, the war only takes like two years. Well, even this season, so... they, the previews for the season, they show an adult. Ray, yeah, yeah, they're uh, about to do Ray a time Harris, jump. I remember, think. Remember. I think I we remember. only have like a couple more season or episodes yeah. with the but young like, actresses. I just like how we see all the dragons, and yeah, uh, they got they got to set it up. Matt Smith's dragon is fucking sick. Yeah, the red worm dragon thing. Yes. They call it the Red Worm. He's like a little s- noodle monster or something. I think it's technically called a Wyvern or something like that. Wyvern. Oh, oh, wyvern. No, 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 no. Uh, Wy- no wyverns, wyverns are like raptors. Wyverns, yeah, can't fly. Oh. <laughs> Somebody, I, I thought I read somewhere online, people were like, oh, it's a wyvern. Blah, blah, well, blah. there's just different breeds yeah. of dragons. One of them... and, and they think that wyverns and uh, fireworms were combined, actually, to create dragons. Maybe wyverns want the legs. No, no, no. Wyverns have legs. They don't have wings, for sure. Yeah. They have four um, I arms. Was just called and stuff. A worm. I think there's actually. I think we'll actually yeah. see a wyvern in this series. I mean, like, honestly, they just need to like kind of put it to rest mm. because it might explain why the dragons look differently too. Um, <clears throat> Here, what wyverns have wings? They fly. Yeah. There's worms with a Y. I think wyverns. I think are smaller than dragons. Dragons typically have. So what are you four on? D- on D- wyverns only have. Are you on basic like D and D stuff? Yeah. So I'm you need you need to go to the a Song of Ice and Fire's wiki well, that way and find out what wyverns are in that world, because George R. R. Martin has different rules. His oh. dragons have two legs. Yeah, they don't this, have four this, legs. This you know? wy- well, this shows like this wyvern has legs and wings but no forearms. Yeah. So that's a dragon. Well, that's a dragon like in George R. R. Martin. But so the dragon like has bat. like four legs and wings. But the dragon in Westeros only have two legs and two wings. <laughs> yeah, but they also walk on their wings, so it's like yes, but like a bat. So you're calling them wyverns then, not dragons? Uh, I, I'm telling I you, I a song why. of ice and fire. I've never has seen one in rules. person, so I don't know how they walk. So <laughs> excuse me. Well, uh, I just want to see some dragons choking dragons. I think we might see some dragon titties. What the fuck is going on with you? They choking shit, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's what he's into. He likes yes. dragons. What? Peter yeah. Dragon. Magic Dragon. Do you like do you like Imagine Dragons? Um, not really. Imagine me dragging these nuts across your cheeks. Oh, right. Imagine Baggins. <laughs> it's interesting. They don't call them uh, hobbits. They call them uh, har- Harfoots in the in the Silver Yeah, what? they don't have the right. No, 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 no. A Harfoot is a H-A-R-F-O-T. a species okay. of right. hobbits. Oh, okay, I don't know. So it's I like they, they don't have, because, they, because they don't have the rights. They can't use the term hobbit. <laughs> uh, I'm lo- I'm loving House of the Dragon though. Just yeah. to go back to that. Don't yeah, yeah. don't t- bring us back to the Rings of Power yet. Um, the fact that I think you might be a trifling bitch. But we'll, we'll, get, we'll get back. The fact to that. that House of Dragon has dragons and it's called House of Dragons. <laughs> Actually, it's called Hot D. House of the Dragon. Hot D. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. I don't think I don't think this series is going to disappoint us. I feel like it's going to be very uh, climatic at the end, or maybe quite like shocking. I don't know how the, how far we're well, going to get into this season. Because they're only cutting what's it her name Rhaenyra, and then her Rhaenyra, uncle. Yeah. Um, think they're going to have Damon. a dragon battle. I hope so. a dragon battle. Yes. I hope so. I don't know. We'll see. Because Rhaenyra's uh, dragon is still like an adolescent. That's interesting. It's not even so, so what do you? Th- no, she was writing it. No, but it's not full grown though. She's no, still a, no. A, a kid. We haven't a seen Vagar yet, dude. Mother Dragon. Oh fuck. Vagar uh, is from uh, Aegon's Conquest or whatever, so like over 150 years old. And it's going to be a fucking massive dragon. And it will be seen in this this season. Oh. It has to be. Oh, you don't know for sure. Oh, no, I know, I know how I well, I guess I don't know how far we're going to go. I have a feeling. I know there are some characters that die yet and everything in this season, I, so I guess you're right in Kenobi. Where he did finally say hello there. So it may have been by the very end of the seat you see the big boy. No, um, no, the big boy will come in probably pretty. Well, if especially who, if yeah, they do the time gonna, jump this season. Who's going to be riding it? Or does he just show up? Oh, no. The, multiple people ride him, actually. Oh, shit. Someone does. There's uh, so many like characters that haven't even been born yet. It's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, Aegon 2 is 2, uh, you know? Um, that's the same Aegon as mentioned in Game of Thrones, right? No. 
Pro- oh, maybe. I so actually, I saw a meme that. Um, oh, it is because of the guy that the maester with the wall, the blind maester, knew Aegon as a. No, child. that's a different Aegon. Is there, a, okay, there are two different Aegon. There's, okay. there's just six of them. Oh fuck off! And that's why the the okay. the, the second one or this last one, if it's John, it's not John. It's someone else. There's already an Aegon in the books. He's he's gonna be the seventh Aegon, Magic okay. Number Seven. You know, so. Um, but uh, it's I'm just interested to see what you think because. You don't know how this series is going to end or whatever. Right. You, I've, al- I've also I've never read the books. The show, show was amazing until it wasn't. Um, so it sucks because Joffrey actually spoiled the end of the show in Game of Thrones. So do not go back and watch Game of Thrones. Because he says something to someone about what happens. Huh. Because, yeah, I mean, why would they have expected them I do to like ever make how, this uh, show? Uh, by the way, that, uh, the actor, Jack something, he just got married. So... Jack? Uh, the actor played um, who? <clears throat> Joffrey. What's the name oh, of the his king? Name is Jack? Yeah, his name is Jack. Yeah. Huh. He's got, yeah, I saw that. I'm like, oh, because like, he retired. He's like, eh, that's all yeah, I got Yeah, I do. feel like I heard that he got paid pretty good. I was like, oh, I'm not going to act again. Yeah. I, I won't get a good role so or whatever, good. you know? Oh, yeah. Was good. So, king Aegon? Is that the king right now in, no, in House Dragon? No, uh, Viserys is the king. Viserys. Correct. So, does he have grayscale? It's possible. That's what I'm thinking that is. That's, yeah. as as I but saw now we've that, jumped ahead like how many years? At least three, maybe more. It showed him. It, like it his, went three. It went three. Well, well so, it was so you saw his, his finger. finger. It was on his back On the, 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 the throat, the sword throne. And then that was the same finger that they were like putting in the... Uh, yeah, but they also had it on his back maggots. first, right? So did you catch in this last episode? I, so he's always wearing gloves and I was trying to pay attention. I didn't... That was one that was when I say like, I don't recall them saying anything. But did, did they show something? They showed it. He's missing two fingers. Okay. Really? Yep. I didn't catch that. Was it like really and that's, early And on? that's why he was so awkward with the spear, too. Because uh, he can't hold it as well, you know? Somebody give me a spear. Well, so you I can just hold try it. holding anything with so, only like those two fingers. So, is it, so he's missing the, a the, little to the, the left, three? Yeah. The three or just the two fingers? Uh, I think it's the, the little thumb? two. I think it's the little two. The little two. Yeah, because it started off oh. as pinky. Yeah, yeah. He's got oh, yeah. That's kind of funny. Contrary to what you If he's got grayscale on his back... I, you would think after three years he'd be gone. How? Maybe it's light grayscale. I don't know. Yeah, they might have cauterized it. You know, maybe they, they healed it or whatever. I think that the the throne is like poisoned. Uh, I mean, who's doing it? Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, I do like how this one they're they're trying to they're making an attempt to make it look like what it was supposed to look like because the Iron Throne, like in the books, is described yeah. as like insane. Yeah, and this they just like stuck a bunch of swords around it. I'm like, yeah. oh, I, I, all right, close. They enough. should have like lifted up onto a bigger platform or something. Yeah, I like something. Dave Grohl's version of it better. You can't change it too much though. Yeah. He, oh. he, when he broke his leg or something, yeah. they, he had a uh, instead of a, a throne of swords, it was this throne of guitars. Oh, really? Okay. It was pretty sick looking. Hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, so. Is I guess that's all I got to talk about about that because that's I mean <laughs> it's pretty to good say about that. So <laughs> that's to say it's ten episodes and uh, oh yeah, that's what it was. I'm looking way more forward to. They've already announced like House of the Dragon like nine spinoffs. Oh, I don't know if they've announced them. They're working on them. I think. Well, I saw a, a like graphic in, or something. Like Jon Snow spinoff. <sighs> that's uh, the one I don't want. I don't know. It, this eh. is might as well call it Game of Thrones two. Harrington back. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll what is he even in anymore? I, I think I've seen him in one thing, and he has like a really small bit. Immortals. Role. He was. He was. He's the Black Knight. I don't think I've watched that. Yeah. Don't I haven't bother. Watched that one. Well, he he is. That he's was my star watching. Said he's no. not actually the Black Knight in the movie, but they're setting it up too for his movie of the Black Knight, and it Immortals is boring as fuck. Christ, it's like two and a half hours long, and nothing happens. It's so dumb. I th- I'm sure well, I bitched about it before. I think we have. I just remember wa- <sighs> watching that first scene with Penelope Cruz. Or what's her name? Yeah, is that her name? No, uh, uh, Selma Hayek. Yeah. <laughs> Selma Hayek. And I was just like, God, she, she looks terrible and this lighting is awful. And then I, I like, it was, it was like, this is what the trailer reminded me of too. I was like, the whole movie's gonna look like this. Yeah, I'm not watching this. It was dumb. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, so your character is supposed to be Black Knight. I'm sure they're making a movie for it. Um, uh, but there's there's a bu- couple animated ones. I think there's the couple... Corliss has his own spinoff in the works, which would be dope as fuck. That guy goes on nine voyages before this war happens. Oh yeah, and there's yeah, there's and he like... goes to like ET, the Chinese, uh, yeah. a shy by the shadow where all the fucking sorcerers are. Like, it would be a really cool series. Him just traveling yeah, on a boat. I think that's one of them. Well, I saw that. I go, oh great, okay. Let's. Who's the right. guy on a boat? Corliss. 
Okay, I don't know nothing about that. He's the black person. guy at the, at the council. With, oh, okay. With, uh, he, he is a fucking badass. I hope I don't oh. spoil it by just saying that. He's fucking badass. Well, he looks pretty fucking sweet, and he acts pretty sweet. He's I'm pro- surprised that war lasted that long in the steps. I didn't realize the Stepstones was a three-year war. Yeah. How do you feel about I don't Damon know. charging in yes. there? Yes. Oh, Dope he committed a war crime, fuck. too. By surrendering, then attacking, that's a war crime. But yeah, it's also, fucking medieval times. I don't think they have the Geneva Convention in Westeros. They definitely do not. Uh uh, crab feeder has been co- committing that, them all over the and place. And that's so I was I was re- reading about I was looking at the crab feeder. Like, who is this guy and why is he so fucked up looking? And does he feed himself to the crabs a little bit? He's like a paragraph in the book. <laughs> I, I heard he was a lot more significant in the book. No, not at all. Oh, maybe a different character then. Eh, whatever. I don't. I don't. Maybe they're more than a paragraph. Because they've they've taken some paragraphs and expanded into a whole bunch okay. more. Well, they stuff. said I, I but, keep seeing a, a multiple reviews of that episode of they killed off someone that was uh, they were surprised they killed off early. I don't know who. I they mean, did. they kind of made know. a big deal about it, so it's like, why would they kill him like that off screen? It was well, kind of cool. Well, it was but... a, it wasn't his death; it was Damon's kill. That's why it was the significance of it. It was like I just walked up and just chopped the motherfucker in half. I mean, maybe it was just like yeah, it would would be nothing of a fight. He has a Valyrian steel fucking sword. What is the crab feeder going to do? Also, I find it very interesting. Again, I read the books, but I, I, I don't get too far into this. It's like Damascus steel. Keep fucking get into it. But like he, when um, Viserys started uh, uh, banging his daughter's friend, and uh, or married, excuse me. Instead of now, I understand it was creepy because at the time she was too young. But the actual, you know, the Valerian girl. I can't drink that. Uh, you didn't drink this? No. Looks like you did. No, well, I, mean, I just opened it. Just put your mouth on it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I totally boofed it. <laughs> I boofed some out of there. I, I, oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, it's blasting everywhere. Oh, yeah. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did How you did do that? Happen? How did that happen? It got really exciting because you teased it, dickhead. It's in my face. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Keep going. You're looking at like a booty hole. There's no yeah. shame rag in here. Ooh. Uh, now, it was creepy, but like the the daughter of, of the... Otto the, Hightower, the hand. No, 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 no. The other one that you're supposed to, that, that you, he was going to marry to keep it the blood, the Valerian oh, blood. Oh, uh, Lena. Yeah, that was creepy because she Valerian. was very young, but also just wait a little bit or a while. Yeah, like don't that see made, her for a couple of years. She looks like she'll sense. be pretty in the end. That made a lot more sense, so I can see why, you know, of course I'm sure that sets off what's his name to be pissed off and do other stuff. So. Yeah, that's why. The I point the is, council. like, that seems like a stupid thing to do because it's Valerian blood and. I want to see a story, a story about the old Valeria. Ah, There's all this cool stuff that... I think that's one of the spinoffs, too, actually. I think, yeah, I think your point, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, and here's the thing, too, is Alicent is older in the books. I can't remember how older, but it's, like, significantly, like, she's, like, 10 years older Which or one? Who's Alicent? Uh, the, the, new, the new queen. Okay. Yeah, the one that's going to start spitting out babies. Yeah. <laughs> she's just sitting there just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, could you get that yeah, one for are me? Are they called Westeros Twins? Irish twins, Westerosi twins. I don't know what that. What is I, Irish I, twins? Irish twins are nine months apart. Oh <laughs> no! I think you have to wait three years or three months before a female can get pregnant. Hey man, you're not making the rules. I don't know. All right, I don't have any kids. That's, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's different. Different world. Who knows how fast anyway, she can get pregnant? Yeah, you know, I'm not disappointed. Is what I'm saying. I'm I'm very happy with this. How it's going so far. Yeah, yeah I w- I kind of wish I didn't know what was going on. I think it would make it a little more enjoyable. But because I've read the books and studied it quite frequently. Nerd. Yeah. Do you remember the that animation of it that you watched? Yeah. So you kind of know how it happens? What happens? Animation. On on the DVDs, they did like these oh. um, animations of like just legends and stories or whatever. And they told the Dance of the Dragons in this animation format. It's pretty dope actually to watch. Yeah, but, seen that. Maybe, yeah. but but yeah, it's like it would ruin it for you now if you watched it. Yeah, so yeah. so don't. I, won't. I don't remember how it ended. Okay. Was well, there a third dragon we saw in this last episode? Yeah, Somebody yeah, else? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah sea smoke. Sea smoke. Yeah, smoke. Who was riding? Sea that? smoke. Just some guy. Uh, Lenor, Corliss's son. Oh, that's right. That's I thought right. they weren't dragon riders in his family. Um, the mom is. Yeah, because... Oh, that's right. She, the, yeah. the white... She's the white Valerian or whatever. Reina. Reina. Or Rainies. Rainies. All these names sound the exact same with a few little differences. And that's kind so of much. like what's great about it, too. It's like that's real life, you know? People have the same name and... 
yeah. similar sounding names, or like, especially it's just one family, you know. But I guess if, if going backwards, Lane, John, single syllable names with ends in them, it's like oh, that's the same thing, you know? It's yeah, like, oh, exactly. It's hard to keep track of, even though. The regular names. Are there regular names in Western? I don't know. Hey, John, James, very similar, I, you know. I like uh, I like how the, the boar popped out when they were out, out in the woods. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, and she your grandpa dies because of that. Herself. Like, it was a callback to you know, John, uh, Robert Baratheon dying. Well, that's her grandnephew or whatever. Grand... Grandpapa. Whatever. Papa. I just saw No, that. no, no, young. Younger. I just saw that. I go, oh, look out now. And yeah. I just had a First of all, do you, have you seen a fucking boar? Dude, they are pissed off, dude. How the fuck, fuck that? is that like 100 pound fucking 17 year old holding a fucking boar off? She's pissed. She's got dragon blood. Yeah, she fucking stabbed the fuck out of it. And then yeah. gets to see the stag. That was, you know, just sick. like, just kind of like nods at it or whatever, you know? I never understood how st- dope. how stags in like media are this big, you know, grand creature. And in reality, it's just a fucking white tailed buck. Well, you also have to imagine, though, that it's like. Uh, mythical beast or whatever, like I, I dire that. wolf is big or two. I get you know? that, like, but like and all this stuff here of a stag, like a stag. It's like it's well, just a fucking buck. They call them, like, they call a moose a stag. Mooses are fucking huge. Oh yeah, you know, are. like imagine more of an elk deer combo. Moose will you know? also eat fermented apples to get drunk. Nice. A lot of animals <laughs> will do something like that. They they also or no, that's uh, reindeer eat the mushrooms, and that's why we have Christmas. See, I, I would consider a, like like a rain. Have you seen you seen reindeer clothes? Yes, I, I have. I don't know if I ever have. They are thick. Yeah, they're thick. So imagine a reindeer with antlers. You know, I think that seems like what the, more like that what that was because it, it it screamed like when it, when Ceres killed it. it oh screamed, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It sounded more like a reindeer. Well, it's not your typical white tail. Like we'll a, just say that. Good point. What? That's what? the that's, that's its that, rut. That's a yeah. gi- that's a dying giraffe. <laughs> that's a dying giraffe. <laughs> okay. That's South Park. I'm not talking about it. It, it's also a fantasy series. It is. There's dragons, but there used to be much oh larger God. deer back oh, then. Yeah. A lot of animals were bigger back in that guy stage. If we shit. get to see a fucking lizard lion in this series, I'll lizard f- lion, fucking lose my shit. Yeah, a lizard lion. I don't know what that is. It's most likely some Greek. It's shit. most likely an alligator, but like on fucking long legs that can run. Oh, like a prehistoric alligator. You seen the picture of those? Yeah, well, those, yeah, yeah. There's that terrifying. one that they think is running that Fuck can run. That you seen it? It's basically, it's, an alligator with. Well, full size legs. That's it's what terrifying. Jojen and Mara should have been riding oh, into right. battle. It's from it's from the Cranigan or so, whatever. So that reminds me, say some lizard bear or whatever or lizard lion. 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 That reminds me. I don't know, a bit off topic. Crocodile or alligator? It's most. I don't. Who knows? Oh, maybe it's cra- fantasy, uh, cra- dude. Uh, it's crack- fantasy. Uh, you watch oh Avatar? God. You watch Avatar: The Last Airbender? The cartoon? Yeah. Is this is what you're talking no. about. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that thing. Yeah, dude. that's a lizard lion for sure. <laughs> you ever watch that show? Um, no. But I've seen it. I know it's I, how great it is. I never watched it until as an adult. I go, this is fucking so, – oh, this is great. You know, I watched I loved it. Well, there's a bit where, like, there's all these fantasy creatures of, you know, multiple, like, different types of animals put together. And they go, the king has a pet bear. And they're just staring at him. They're like, a what? A bear. Like a lion bear? A turtle bear? A whatever bear? Like, no, it's a bear. What's a bear? A water bear. No, it's not tardigrade. It's not tardigrade. tardigrade. Uh, but it just, there's a gag of like a little gag of like, oh, there's just like a regular ass bear. They don't know what it is because all these hmm. fantasy creatures just made me laugh. So when you said a lizard lion, I'm like, what the fuck's a lion? You know, it's fantasy. Yeah. That's what's great yeah. about it. I do like how she's like uh, just basically snuffed a uh, fucking uh, Lannister. That's great. Oh yeah, she's yeah. Like, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Ah, fuck. I Justin or something. I don't remember his name. <laughs> the, he's a twin. The one normal name motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. Carl. I think. Justine Lannister or whatever. Fuck. Um, but anyway. Okay, shit. All right, what, what's that? We've been talking about this for a long, long time. I don't think. I'm sorry. Hey, it's, it's, it's an brand, expansive universe. It's brand new. It's what we needed yeah. to talk about. It hasn't um, been that long, actually. Well, I have something for you. Well, the I just stuff. want to talk about it's lizard lions. Pick, is it? <laughs> I already have those. I, I try to make you laugh otherwise, other ways. Uh, okay. Damn it! I know how to use a phone. No, clearly Ro- you don't. Robber who broke into hair salon is beaten by its black belt owner and kept as a sex slave for three days, <laughs> fed only Viagra. Jesus, <laughs> is this in Wayne, Nebraska? Uh, 
a Russian man who tried to rob a hair salon ended up as a victim when the female shop owner overpowered him, tied him up naked, then used him as a sex slave for three days. Victor, with a, with a K. Did Jan- she choke him? Jasinski, 32, <laughs> admitted to police that he had gone to the salon in Russia uh, to robbing it. Uh... <laughs> Damn, do you think he knew her beforehand? I don't know. Oh, I bet so. I don't know, but it just kind of shows us. You just go to a random It just kind of shows a picture of the chick, though. Just like like her whole face is, I don't know. I like. What about him? Oh, shit. He doesn't I, want his I face out there? Well, it's just a screen Only cap. fed him Viagra for three days. I'm That's, hungry. Here's uh, a bottle of Viagra. But only. God, he had to have had some sort of fluid in Fucking intake. hilarious. Well, not, not, not well, for long. <laughs> I wonder how much fluid he had outtake. God. <laughs> I mean, uh, but I mean, that's probably why it was only three days. He's like, okay, he's got to go now. He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> he's shitting all over my place. <laughs> I mean, that seems like a lot of effort. I mean, if you just go buy a dildo. She probably why would you use a dildo? Or maybe she's proving thing. a point. She had one. She, I, I mean, mean, she would guarantee she had a dildo already. Yeah. And this remember, guy tried to rob her. She's like, no, I just tied you up. Now I'm going to fucking, Maybe she's proving a point. Which, yeah. You know, hey, break into break it my house. So who oh. went to jail? They both went to jail. <laughs> Who got the longer sentence? Oh, she got plenty of long sentences. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's stupid. Um, he must have been just, packing did, a fucking. Was wallet. there anything said by that guy? Like, oh, I don't know. It was just a. Yeah, I liked bit. it. Or <laughs> yeah, he, he has to have a statement. Like he's gonna be the most popular guy in jail. Death like, by snoo snoo. You got fucking. You robbed a place and then got fucked for three days. <laughs> you know. Death by snoo snoo. Existing well, off of a diet of Viagra. Oh. Also, where'd she get all and that Viagra? Spit. Oh, you can get a prescription of Viagra. No, where'd she get all that Viagra, is what I'm saying. You can get over-the-counter Viagra. Yeah, exactly. No, this is Russia. No, oh, good point. Yeah. It's Russia, so it probably wasn't Viagra. It's probably something fucked up. Horse got your fucking dick hard. shit. Horse Viagra? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. They have that. I can't too. swallow that. Good news. <laughs> it's a suppository. <laughs> oh, that's, shit. That's I mean, yeah. If, he's probably not talking about everything else that happened, you know. Oh, I wonder how she I... seriously had a sex slave. You know yeah. she fucking had a dildo. Put something in his butt. She strapped she had, it. Had to have. And he's just not talking She's about it. She probably a strap on. Hmm? If he's you're getting gonna overpower a man, tie him up like a hog, <laughs> feed him Viagra. You're definitely pounding his ass. With strap she on. fucking hog tied him and was like, "Clear, <laughs> squeal, boy." <laughs> what if she had other people come over too? Fuck him. I mean, why wouldn't she? Well. Then they're, it's you know, an accessory. Caught. Did yeah. it say how it ended? Like, did he escape? Did he come? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course he didn't. <laughs> I think it said something like, Shh, I think she... Is there a happy ending to this story? Eventually called the, no, they both got arrested. <laughs> they're married. <laughs> married. She's going to have his baby. Um, moved on Oof. to happier times in prison. He's shitting pancakes now. <laughs> <laughs> Been shitting pancakes ever since. <laughs> like ping pong and ding dang. Uh, if you were only fed by Agra, that's got to be a miserable shit. I mean, well, would you? you shit. Would you even shit though? You could shit. There's nothing to there's, shit. Yeah, there's nothing to shit out. Well, whatever you ate last before the robbery. I don't know. Sitting in there. <laughs> Let me finish off this d- double Chipotle burrito before I rob this place. <laughs> John's had Viagra. He told us about it last night. At oh D&D. yeah. You ever have oh. What do they look like? Are they, are they? Do they, do they have like a capsule, or is it just like? Well, it depends. Like I blue chew. I've only used blue chew. So, so I have chew. actually taken a Viagra before. Blue chew or actual Viagra? No, it was a Viagra. Our friends and <laughs> Grandpa. <or laughs> Peepaw. It was it was Peepaw and Mima. <laughs> Why is this so What the oh, yeah, fuck? Yeah. Whoa, we, we went what? over to our friend Aaron's <laughs> Mima and Peepaw's house. <laughs> he lived with them. He lived with them. Stop saying Mima and Peepaw. That was their names. That's <laughs> way too familiar. It's like, they're grandparents. I don't know their names. That don't they, give their names. We never called them grandparents. We called them Mima and Peepaw. Just say they're grandparents because now I'm thinking of like, oh, this kind of... Uh, he was from Arizona. Grandpa, Did you get a boner? Him. Oh my God, dude. We all s- stole... <laughs> I just remember Tony coming out with five of them. They're like, all right, let's go. And we got into this fucking truck. And t- oh, we all just drove them. around raging hard. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> like, yeah. An hour later, we're all like, okay, we're going home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold we, on. All, we all Hold masturbated on. for like six hours. That <laughs> You're telling me you... you, you Dude, you, we were a 14. Wait, you, so you took him and then you just took him right then and there? 
as we drove around. We just yeah. snorted them on and the we just like, we just kept joking <laughs> about like, okay, this is only, as soon as we get by, we're just going to leave or whatever. And then we we got to the Oak Ballroom, which was this like parking lot. We you'd hang out in or whatever, talk to people, wave them over to you. Are you waving your dick and, out the window? Like, hey, look at this! Like, talking about, okay, okay, we guys have. <laughs> I don't remember who we were talking to there. Well, yeah, we need to leave. I think that is that is the most definitive point in time where your life could diverge to a very very different existence where you all you, you might oh yeah turn just had a little gay. circle jerk. If only I had never taken that Viagra. I mean, hey, if it had been a different era or whatever, like the Beatles circle jerked off together and shit, you know. So no, okay, you jerking off or all whatever because you're all cranked up. In a parking lot. I mean, this we, could have been way kept, different. We life. kept joking, like, "Oh, what if like a prostitute just comes through? <laughs> she would <laughs> kill her. <laughs> yeah. You just stab her to death. Jesus <laughs> Christ!" No, Fuck. that guy's already done that bit, Captain Stabbing. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like, God damn, that'd be a nightmare. Like, if I were a hooker and there's four, <laughs> five, fourteen year old boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think with medical grade Aaron, hard on. I don't think Aaron did one because they're like, I'm gonna return my dog. <laughs> Still, I wait me, mom, people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I can just imagine the date night. Honey, I got bad news. <laughs> We're missing four Viagras. <laughs> yeah. oh. They were pretty old too. They were they were nice people. <gasps> they were, yeah, because they were fucking. They're real calm. Yeah. <laughs> they're real relaxed. Yeah. Better drink my coffee. Fuck. So why did you, you ask? Have you ever taken Viagra? Ah, uh, uh, Blue Chew. That's the, it's the same thing. Is that the over-the-counter yeah, one? No, no, it's the generic version of. Can you get that? You at still the have to get a technical prescription, technically. Oh, you have to get from a doctor. Te- yeah, it's real lax. You just go online, you answer some questions. Okay, that's it. What about the stuff you buy at the <sighs> tobacco huts? And oh, stuff? the like the I think I think I heard it's like rhino pills. Yeah, and shit. I think it's Tiger just like a, a just shitload of salt or something. It's it's not like it's a, it's I think it's a vasodilator and a bunch of salt. A what diode? Vasodilator. So do you think it makes your dick hard? Oh, like uh, like I take I take uh, nitric oxide for, for pre workout, which is a vasodilator to get more pump. And like after the gym, I have like raging boners. <laughs> so yeah. The only time. So do you ever put no, like a little pound me. weight on your dick and then like flex a nut? You know, just a little lift. You don't do cock push-ups. You push only ups? need one. Cock push-ups. <laughs> yeah, you can only do one. Uh, Deactivate a laser cock. with my dick. You know what? I'm gonna try that now. <laughs> Cock push up, man. I'm a, not a cock push up. Like, fuck, my tick will explode. Try to push my ass up. Uh, yeah. Not that far to go, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a do a cock weight. I'm gonna try that. A what? Like, put it, like, like it was like a string helicopter. A a string and a weight that in my boner. Oh, okay. Try to like yeah, uh, that's like the. It might be better to use a band rather uh, than a string. Otherwise, you might cut into yourself. What are what are the the Shaolin monks? On you. Don't they do that shit? What the Shaolin monks? I like think tie, tie I think, weight to I their dick and like lift dude. it or something, I think right? It's just one dude who was bored. Well, he's had. A I know there's one guy. Senses. I, so I, I read this book called American Shaolin, and he trained with a guy that had what, the what his like, name? steel skin, or I, I don't remember his name. They, it was like Iron Balls, I thought. Yeah, they had they had a, he had a street name like that. <laughs> Anyways, in the mornings they would get together and they would do certain things where they'd like we're do iron shin and just beat the shit out yeah. of your shins for like three weeks until your bone thickens up. He said one morning he wakes up, goes to the sensei or whatever master's room, and he's got his fucking dick out on a table, just hitting it with a fucking mallet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. But then there's a technique though too, where like you actually take your balls and shove it up inside yourself. That way, when you're getting kicked or hit, you know. Oh yeah, can you can you suck your nuts up yourself? I can. Oh yeah, I can suck my nads up. Can you? I'm probably not like voluntary. Right I could maybe push them in <laughs> there. Not. <clears throat> I'm doing right now. I don't think I ever want to try that. Yeah. That Dude, no, seriously, it's, kinda... it's it's a weird like flexy <laughs> abdomen thing. Like I I I learned to do it as I was really young. I thought it was hilarious. <sighs> Cause I'm like, huh, huh, uh, you seem like the type uh, that would tuck your dick behind your legs and just kind of stand there, me. stand there in the mirror. But no, would uh, you fuck me? But no, like, there's I'd a thing like, me. like, of course, you can't really like anticipate it. So unless you're always got your nuts in you, like, if you get kicked in the nads, like, you can't really put it full of that fast. Ah, I mean, you can't have nuts yeah, you haven't worked on your reflexes. You had to shallow monk style. It's true, you know? I haven't really. 
<laughs> I've, I've stand, seen stand in front of a baseball machine, the, the, the pitching machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen well, dude, I've seen the video. Of, an extra talk, he's dry out. There's just like some, up. there's some guy like in the streets, just like getting kicked in the nads over. And he's in like a shallow yeah. monk outfit, where he's just getting kicked over in the balls constantly. And then yeah, like, someone just someone takes taint. a brick like to his fucking yeah, dick just and shit. Taint at that point, and your dick is soft tissue anyway, so it just. You bushes. sure this wasn't yeah. a big dike? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's the internet. Derek, you never know. Don't say you never that know. word. Wow, well, it's the perfect descriptor. Large. Not Large big. Marge. Not big. Yeah, Derek, don't size shame. Yeah. I'm not size shaming. Okay. Just saying, I've seen some big girls that look a little mannish. And they like to hold water back or what? Oh, what the fuck? Hold, hold water, water back. back. You said, you said like... You were talking about some guy just walking around getting his nuts beat on. I was asking, you sure it wasn't a chick? Uh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> God damn it. You actually, I was going to make a dumb dyke joke, but then you actually made the dyke That's what the joke. joke is. It's a fucking di- dam oh. that holds water back. <laughs> yeah, that was. I or, wasn't picking or up. Or it's on like it. some pliers, your dykes, you know? Pick up your dykes. Those aren't pliers, diagonal cutters. Diagonal cutters or dykes? Man, fuck that shit. Linemen. I, I've heard linemen I, pliers with dykes. As I, well. hate, I hate that. It's like they've been dykes since day one. They're called diagonal cutters, short for diagonal cutters. And sure enough, you know, recently. What, is, what do you mean diagonal? Like a tin snip that's turned sideways? Dykes are diagonal cutters. They're, dykes are not pliers. Dykes or oh, cut okay. Or well, like, basically. what diagonal oh. cutting are you talking about? Are you talking about like tin snipping? No, so the, the way the, the tool is oriented, the blade is diagonal, so you can lay it flat. That's so. That's why it's called a diagonal I see. cutter. I, okay, dyke. okay. So you know, they've been dykes since their inception, and I, I, I remember. Uh, I think just the, think, the word became popular. Everyone wanted to call everything a dyke. N- n- no. Yeah. I know for sure. What? I know for sure. Some I've seen people they're like, I don't know what dykes are, but I just call everything a dyke. Hand me the dyke or whatever. Oh, you just like as a ter- term for a tool. Okay, yes. I didn't. I've never been aware of that. But um, but anyway, recently, of course, you can't say that now. Can't say cockpit either. You can't shut your fucking mouth. Now, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm still. On there my... was a whole movement a few years ago to quit calling them cockpits. What are we supposed to call it? I, I don't know. I call it a cockpit still. Pilot it's... residence. Well, it's not a residence. I don't know. Just a, a pilot, pit. Just a pit. Pilots. Front of craft. <sighs> Air <sighs> control. Why, is, why station. is it called a cockpit? Yeah, why is it called a cockpit? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Is it something to do with like the Let's find maneuvers? Out. You know, because it's like a lever. When oh, do you guys hear the news today? The old cock. Mm. Queen? Oh, yeah. Queen. Queen. Yeah, really oh, about we buried the care. fucking lead. Also, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I could care. That's all I care about. I could care way less. I, I I don't know. I don't. Who's the king now? Charles, Andrew, Charles, I don't know. Somebody. Not Harry. No. One of them? I, I had, else I had seen earlier this morning that like, oh, the queen is on um, health watch yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I saw like, that, yeah. So she must have been taken to the hospital this morning or something and then passed away or whatever in the afternoon, well, it seemed about like. about time. She is the longest... Queen yeah. that there's ever been. Or Tell you what, though, she was a hard ass though. She I mean, served, it, she served. So uh, hey, there's that. Yeah, it's just like a cultural moment for sure. Yeah. Also, at this point, it's like just stop. Most like, people about, al- alive were like have only had this queen. True. You know. True. True. Of course, I'm. I'm like. Of course, I'm the mind of. Okay, that was it. Stop. We don't need this. Like this is. Yeah. They're just a figurehead. They have no power whatsoever. Like they're just there, and they make all their money off land holdings. They're just a rich family that we all go, oh, you're... Do they, don't they like still get some sort of taxes? I th- No, no, they don't get paid. They don't get... Like, I, I read an article I about this a while get, ago. I, okay. The royal family wrong. gets all their money off of all their land holdings throughout England. So what kind of land? Like hotels or like their landlords? Or apartments and shit? Or Millions of acres of whatever. Farmland land. and I shit? Mean, yeah. I mean, so they just like own the country? Basically, yeah. So the word, they probably cockpit. own London. More or less. No, they don't. Russians own London. What? Uh, the word cockpit is actually comes from old maritime terminology. Oh, like a poop deck. They called it, so cockpit originally was like a pit for fighting cocks. <laughs> oh, and yeah. then they had a, what they called the cock swain station on the backs of small boats where the pilot or you know the person oh, controlling yeah. the, the boat would be. cock swing. And then just over time swing. it turned into cockpit and because it was always cock swain. Yeah. Swain. 
uh, and over time, it just got applied to you oh, know, the person piloting you know, a craft. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, because that's what you've been, you've been. I've been on a boat. I know what a. I know the cockpit drives. <laughs> I've been on a boat. So I'm a. I'm in a cockpit now. That's what the Wright brothers said. You know. Yeah. I figured, I figured the cockpit was really like I stick his bowler in the wheel. So you think they call it cockpit in other languages? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Probably. We invented f- flight, so fuck them. Yeah. Right. America. You. Hey. hey. Is it still called a cockpit, like on a seven thirty-seven? Sure. I assume. Well, yeah. all I know is like, get the fuck over yourself. Oh, we're cocking it. How about get your mind out of the gutter? How about that? Yeah. How many female pilots are there anyway? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Probably not enough. Well, there's not enough pilots anyway. How many female but... garbage men are there? Not enough? I don't know. I don't give a shit. Probably none. I don't give a fuck. Maybe one. I could give two fucks who picks up my garbage. Exactly. Ah. Uh, you're yeah. supposed to call the cockpit a flight deck. Fuck. Oh, oh my God. No one's ever going to do that. Well, flight deck sounds well, too much I mean, like you dick. You can't say airman either. You sounds have to say like aviator. Avi- avi- aviator person. It sounds yeah. too much this like This is all from the FAA. It's just like a birthing person instead of mother's. God, I hate. Yeah. I hate. It's chest feeding. Oh fuck off! I absolutely hate Stephen Crowder just because of his whole. You know, he's just a the Satanist, a noisy guy. No, the the Alistair Crowley. No, Stephen Crowder. <laughs> Who's that? Crowder. Uh, he, Is that the red or the white? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember that part? <sighs> uh, see, he he's a. Uh, Sensationalist, you know, he just basically makes a lot of racket on social media. Oh, he's an and he tries to be right wing as fuck. And but he's he's that meme, you know, like change my mind meme. Oh. We're sitting in the park, you're like, this is what you'll change my mind. Really? Uh, but I don't like him, and it, and he's full of shit, and he says dumb shit all the time. He does stupid shit. Would I enjoy him? Not, well, you know what? I don't know. You like DeSantis, <laughs> so I don't know. No, I've um, kind of turned my tune on DeSantis a little bit. But, but Even though like, Joe Rogan keeps telling people to vote Republican. The, the point is, though, there was a clip I just saw of... He goes, I'm a, I, I can't remember, he's arguing with a, you know, a, whatever, a woke person. And he, and at the point of like, I'm a man. Like, what, are you sure? Like, yes, medically, legally, I am a man. Yes, well, I don't know that. Like, yeah, but I am. And it's just whole like, stop. Like, I'm a, like, st- stop trying to make someone else woke. It doesn't, woke only works one direction. You can't make someone else woke by going, oh, you're not a man. You're a person who happens to have a penis. Like, no, I'm a guy. What the fuck? Now you're telling me I can't say that? That doesn't make any sense. You're clearly contradicting your that... own stance. It's insane. You yeah. know, and then someone else uh, on another podcast goes, yeah, I'll have, you know, they're a coffee shop. It's like, hey, and my wife will have X. And the barista goes, your partner? Like, no, my wife. That's my wife. No, your partner, that's my wife. <laughs> it's a real weird, like, you can't force someone else to, it, it, it's it's crazy. Yeah, how, no, they'll how, still how try it or whatever. You know, I, I'm I'm all for letting people do what they want to do. It's fine, I, fine. But yeah, you can say you fuck? can say your partner, but I have a wife or whatever. You know. Yeah, I yeah. mean, she's and, not a dog. She's a four legged furry friend. You can't marry her though, Derek. I love her. Look at those eyes. Under Hillary's America, he could marry his dog. Yeah, you probably could. You know, just like Good thing are, that uh, this is my bitch. Secret Stealer didn't get into office, huh? What? The the woman that can't classify things didn't get into office. What? The woman who can't Hillary. classify Hillary things. Hillary Clinton and her oh. goddamn emails oh. being classified. She can't run shit. But, you know, yeah, Trump can steal nuclear secrets. That's fine. We he's allowed. Yeah. That's fine. He's printed documents. It's fine. It's all good. Anyway, so saying you can't say room. cockpit is ridiculous because it's like, oh, it got the word cock in it? Hop, stop. It just it's has not offensive cock. to anyone. No one is offended by the word cockpit. And if they are... There are people offended by it. That's why they call it a flight deck now. People threw a fucking But you fit. don't have to cater to three people that are upset at, about Honestly, cockpit. Honestly, I've heard the term Those flight deck Those same three people are also angry with the way buildings are built because they look like erect penises. So now what are we going to do? Start building vaginas into the sky? Please. <laughs> you tunnel them down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's an inside out building. Is that doable? Like, then can we like, yeah, it's called a bunker. Can we like knock a building into it? You know? Now I want to, now I want, oh damn it. I want to go see a, uh, 
implosion now like a like a you know building implosion is like oh that's a trans building <laughs> it's fucking getting... ah, that's well stupid. you never that's you stupid. never seen the world world trade centers collapse yeah okay yeah i'm implying that it's a controlled demolition i mean i don't give a fuck at this point it's too late i don't care that was 20 years ago who cares anymore right yeah people died we don't care yeah yeah, it's almost a quarter century ago. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I mean, I mean, holy, I mean, hey, that, hey, that war made a lot of money for like four people. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say for Raytheon Who made money. Raytheon. Oh, that's what that's military up, contracting so. and company. They, they uh, I thought of, there was the the bear one. Or they they missiles. Black something. Black, Blackwater. 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 Like a, they're a, I think a mercenary right, group. Yeah. Oh, you can't call mercenaries. They're Defense Private contractors. contractors yeah. Stop. Private security, they call it. Speaking of uh, defense, the Huskers suck. Oh and my tonight God. is the kickoff of NFL yeah. football. Carrie Underwood. And Who do you like short, tonight? Who do you, boots. Boots. Who do you like? It's probably kicking off right now, isn't it? Uh, it's Seven o'clock. Twenty, I think. Oh, okay. About to be. Early. Who's playing? Bills and Rams. Uh, I think. I could be wrong. I think I like the Bills. Yeah, I might. Bills. I might start giving a shit about pro football now, just because college is so <laughs> goddamn disappointing at this yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I don't think so. Get a I, new team. I think. Uh. Like that. Uh. Penn State and uh, Purdue game was really exciting yeah. that I missed last week. Did you see the Appalachian State versus? Uh, I didn't watch any football besides the Huskers. Oh, I got a player on my fantasy so, team playing tonight. So uh, App State and I think like Carolina. I can't remember, I can't remember what it was. Was there it were, Maryland or something. I can't remember, but like my dad and I were, we were watching the, the Husker game. We saw it in the left corner, like one of those kids a bunch of TV, you know. And we're like, put that game on, holy shit! Because in like three, the last three minutes of the fourth quarter. They apps scored, went for two point, failed. Mm. Other team inter- just got the ball off a of bounce. They tried to do an onside kick, got the ball off a of bounce, ran it back for a touchdown. Then App State touchdown, and they went for a two point, or, or they did something again. Like they had two two chances to clinch the game in and two minutes. I was like, no. <clears throat> like, I was like, motherfucker. I just saw the first. I was looking at it for 10 minutes, and I'm like, oh, so invested. Fuck, that was a good game. Uh, yeah, Nebraska was garbage. Yeah. Uh, Iowa was garbage. Iowa looked like terrible, apparently. Hey, just, so maybe maybe we'll beat them this year. Who knows? Well, I just, well, but of course. That's honestly, that's my favorite part about college football is just like waiting until games are in the fourth quarter. Oh, who's a close game? You know, like I'll skip yeah. skip around and be like, oh, yes, this is a good game or whatever. Sure. Because it's never Nebraska. Nebraska because cannot pull out a win. It was right. Saturday. I had to pay all that money for fucking YouTube TV. I'm going to put it to fucking use. There you go. Uh, because Saturday is Iowa. You did Iowa that. State. You did that two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Is it for? Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh no, uh, it didn't do any good for us in Nebraska. Oh yeah, good point. I'd use my dad's fucking Cox login. You did, and it wasn't even your you login. You can't call it Cox anymore. Yeah, I just realized that it's cable <laughs> provider. So, someone else, uh, I think Ryan's cousin or something, uh, ended up using his account. He's like, my parents have been subscribers for years instead of like this new account that we were having issues with or whatever. So, what? Last week or uh, two weeks ago? Here, yeah, no, we might we logged in with my dad's no, so, because remember it kept dying or whatever every two minutes, yeah, flash so we had, or so whatever. We had to load in, yeah, so I wouldn't log so in on else, Derek's phone with my dad's someone whatever. else streamed to it, I guarantee it, whatever. Uh, either way, no, who, they, who do the Chiefs play on Sunday? Arizona Cardinals, Ooh, whoa, that's a good game to start out. Is it, is it an 11 2 game? Uh, 3 30 game, I believe, is the kickoff time, okay. Okay, that's Saturday or Sunday. Chiefs actually Sunday. have uh, historically, we'll see how it plays out for the year. But leading into the year, their schedule is the toughest schedule ever. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Just get it out of the way. You know, start fresh as fuck. Well, everyone's healthy. You know, no, it's not the st- it's not the hardest game first game ever. Their schedule, their entire schedule. Yeah, it's the hardest schedule ever. Get the couple it, games it, out of the way. What makes it hard? I'm talking about. What makes it hard? Uh, the teams. I was reading some stuff up on it. it. It's basically like all the people that are playing are uh, playoff teams from last year, basically. Yeah. Well, that doesn't always imply that it's going to be a tough game, you know? Generally speaking, if you're a playoff team the year before, you're probably going to be a good team 
you know, the next year at yeah. the very least. So do the Chiefs have any, like, new players, or is it just same old, same old kind of over there? They obviously still have Kelsey and Hill. No, they traded Hill. They traded Hill. Who's the running back I'm thinking of? Uh, Hill? No. Hunt. No, he hasn't been there for years. What's the running back name? Uh, I know that's not right. God damn it. You made me think of this now. Uh, well, they Try have a rookie that I'm hoping will take over, Isaiah Pacheco. Seventh round pick out of Rutgers. He's been tearing it up. I think I remember him. Um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He oh, was the running yeah. back at LSU. I like him. I liked him. He was pretty young, too. Yeah, he's like 24 or 5, I think. Yeah. He's, this is his third year in the league. Oh, I think that was he, he was on that um, championship team, I thought. I could be wrong about that, actually. But um, Yeah, he, LSU with Joe Burrow. Yeah, he was on that team? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's the thing about watching the Huskers. I don't know any of the players. It's like an entirely new team. Yeah. And the offense has kind of They been, have so many guys transfer and stuff, too. They have like 20 guys transfer in, and they're like all starting. It's like your entire team. Are they a lot of JV dudes or just from other D1 schools? Um, no, there's a lot. There is like the quarterback and one of the wide receivers, I think. Maybe Palmer? Um, both came from Texas. So they're like familiar with each other or whatever, you know, and they both been fucking tearing it up now. Um, and, uh, the one running back grant has broken some fucking, some big plays or whatever. And that's like kind of the highlight of the husband. Did you watch the last game? No. Against. I was in Boston. South Dakota state. I was in Minnesota and luckily my great uncle or whatever, like turned it on for us. Cause that he knows. Fest? Hus- yeah. He knows there's Husker fans there. Half the, half the cousins are from Nebraska. We have to watch Husker TV. So yeah, we got to watch the game and it was quite, quite, quite disappointing. I'll just say that. Like they won, didn't they? They won, but they went into halftime tied seven, seven. Sounds like a boring game. Yeah. And, and they scored the touchdown on their first drive or the first quarter. But actually came out the second half looking good. They scored again right away off the first drive. And then the defense just cannot tackle. Like, I see it again and again. Players just, oh, like, that was the first game. Running at, no, again. They did it again this game. They just, like, run at the player and, like, try to torpedo someone down. Like, you cannot tackle someone by yeah, torpedo. You got to wrap up. You have to wrap up. And I have not seen, like, drive him to the ground. a single, like, arm go around, you know, oh, for a tackle. Oh! And... Have you got... Settle your O face down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so oh. I honestly, the Georgia State or Southern State that we play this Saturday or whatever, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, North Dakota. Te- no, we just played North Dakota. Oh, just okay. This this week. This week is Georgia. Um, teams like want to defeat Nebraska. You know, we're like a fucking star on their fucking roster or schedule or whatever. We're the laughing cornstalk. And and if you can fucking take that fucking cornstalk down a couple of fucking pegs, like, because everyone still remembers, like, their parents are Husker fans, you know? Like, the Huskers were the shit back in the day. We can beat them. I'm fucking something to my parents. (laughs) That's what these players are thinking in Georgia Southern or wherever they're from. I don't know about that, but all right. No, I'm saying the same thing with the North Dakota players. They fucking show up to play. Like, it's happened to us year after year. Like, fucking... McKnees beat us. Fucking bring them young a couple of fucking well, years BYU's ago. BYU's a decent team. Yeah, but this was a couple of years ago, and they were pretty shitty. We paid them like a million dollars to come to Nebraska, and they whipped our ass. So I'm just trying to say that the Huskers aren't a guarantee to win this year, and Scott Frost will be fired on October 2nd. The 90s are over. <laughs> Wait, how do, you, how do you get fired midseason? Because his contract um, uh... goes down, and his buyout is like, from fifteen million or something to seven and a half million, it's oh, like darn. Le- legitimately cut in half. So oh, geez. It, he'll lose to Oklahoma because there's no way that team will fucking pull it out. But if he loses like any of the other games before then, his career as a Husker foot coach is over. And I and I would not be surprised if they fire mid season because what a, like, the season's over at that point. You know, like we're not going to beat other teams if we can't beat these couple at the beginning and. If you get rid of a coach, it signals to other coaches, hey, we're fucking looking. Come to Nebraska. We expect wins. Big time. And you can't recruit. No, that's the thing. We can recruit. There was literally... Who are we getting that are good recruits? Legitimately, there was a stat of the Big Ten. Nebraska was third or fourth, I can't remember, of like four stars. We had one five-star recruits. We're above all these other fucking teams that beat us every fucking year. 
Because our coach cannot fucking coach. I don't know if I agree with that. Scott Frost had a hell of a program at Southern Florida. Yeah, yeah he got them from like nowhere he was only to a ranked there, team. He was only there for yeah. three years. They kind of had a good program before that, and they still have a good program. Hmm. They fucking played in like a, a really big bowl game last year, and they're fucking rated. They've been like rated every year hmm. since Frost left. We we kind of get rated in a couple polls every year, but we just fucking suck after that. So hmm. I'm sorry to say. I'm, it's gonna be a joke every game. I'm gonna I'm gonna yell onside, kick the onside because that fucking play I feel like sealed his deal. I don't. He kicked what? it onside and fucked it up. He kicked it onside in the Northwestern game, and that's what gave the momentum to Northwestern. We were wow. ahead eleven points in the third quarter. And he kicked an onside kick. Yep, and they went right down the field and scored. Wow. And then they we were stalled on offense, and they went right down the field and scored, and we lost that game. I kind of. Didn't pay attention to the game. That's what happened during the Northwestern game. I didn't get to watch any of it. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for hosting. Yeah, thanks for thanks for handling my butt. Uh, uh, so I'm done with that Husker rant. Well, that the game on Saturday. Not I, not my, for the year. I've, I've never seen my dad almost throw something to the TV when that last last weekend when the I can't remember what the exact play was, but then the Husker guy touched the ball. They're sitting there. Oh yeah, it was just a, it was just a punt. Yeah, and there's a zero reason to touch the ball. Yeah, but the kid do oh shit. And I keep forgetting, oh, yeah, these are kids. These are spaz kids. They go, oh, shit! And then they wrestle and they get the fuck. But that's the thing, dude. No, this is college level. You're expected. That shit is done in high school. You're supposed to make that shit fucking in high school. Oh, shit, the rock. And then, yeah, dude, he fucking, he did the Super Bowl. He's kicked it off, he kicks off football season. He did it for the Rams at the Super Bowl, right? Mm, look at that definition. God, those triceps. Isn't that what he did it God, for? He's so jacked. Yeah. Are you excited for Black Adam? Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. I feel like that's the only superhero movie I'm looking forward to. Like, because Marvel released a bunch of their shit, I don't I care never, less about any of them. I never saw Love and Thunder, the new Thor. Yeah, I haven't I seen it either. No. I was psyched, and I was like, eh. I haven't seen any of my well, boss's no. wife was watching in the background today in our morning stand up. The Love and Thunder. Thunder. Oh, is I it, feel is like it, it might have just been on Disney Plus recently. Okay, I might actually watch <laughs> it. I'll, I'll watch it. I just don't. Of course, I haven't been to a theater yeah. over a year now, so. Oh, that's sad. What would you? What would take you to the theater? I, I don't know. Asked this question before. Yeah, I don't know. Black Adam. I don't know. No, probably not. I mean, I, I go to a theater. I like you know. I, I want to the nice ones where you have the reclining chairs. Yeah. People running food out to you. No, see, I fucking hate running food. Yeah, I like don't, I that don't. takes me out of the movie because then they're always like, "Oh, you have to pay your bill now, dude." I'm fucking. There's a, a fight yeah, going on right yeah. now. Alamo, I, it serves a purpose. It's cool. It's for you've seen a movie once, and then exactly, let me see it again. Exactly. If you want to see it twice and have some fun, yeah. But like the first showing, shut the fuck up. Leave yeah. me alone. Especially like a midnight showing. Which, What's the yeah. place like 156th and Maple or something like that? Uh, well, it's Majestic. 144th. Majestic, Majestic sounds yeah. right. They have um, really good seats that recline. I went there and yeah. saw The Matrix with my brother. Uh, Reloaded. Uh, too bad. Was such or whatever. Was that ter- reloaded? Or too poor? bad. It was such a terrible movie. One. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, mean, uh, I, I go to uh, the Twin Creek, uh, 36th. I used, that's where I used to go when I was a kid. Thirty six, what? Thirty six and three seventy. Have they redone it? Oh, or, I've or, never or, been or, there. Or I, that could be the f- Dude, one thing well, I've never been to. Well, the, po- the point is, like, I went from Great Escape off of Sorensen, with oh, like, yeah. regular ass theater seats, yeah. to this where there's full every they're all recliners. I'm like, oh, so they love seat recliners. They Dude, got ball warmers. The, mm. What kind of what kind of theater is it? You say it was? Uh, uh, I think it's a Marcus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like I like my AMC's, Skid Marcus. man. Man, I haven't been to a lot. I, I feel like AMC is just classic. Like, you know, the Oakview, Exarbon. Mm, mm-hmm. There's one in the Council Blobs. I just like simple. I like their popcorn. I don't know why. What if they did football in theaters? I would do that. What, what if, uh, wouldn't that be fucking dope as fuck? No, because they can't. I don't think you'd have to sign a lot of waivers for breaking shit. Uh, breaking shit? I, I assume people about? get pissed off and throw stuff at the screen. Uh, that doesn't happen at fucking B dubs. Yeah. Doesn't or fucking B-dubs. Or uh, uh, DJs. It doesn't happen at DJs. Uh-huh. Uh, or any other fucking sports bar. I right? said, eh. Ah. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry for Sound the, it out. the listeners. We we all just started watching <laughs> so the watching first football. drive of NFL football. Uh, yeah, and um, Buffalo got a first down. Who is that, Alan? Yeah. 
Yep. All right. Quarterback, anyway. Bills. I feel like they could win um, the Super Bowl. They're and one I'm of the favorites. S- I'm sorry that would say that they're going to beat the Chiefs, right? They can't beat the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> they keep losing to them they in the did. playoffs. I thought they did. No, the Chiefs came 13-second game. They had 13 seconds Oh, that seconds was that left. game. That was that game. Okay. Who am I thinking that... The Bengals beat the Chiefs. That's the AFC right. That's right. And then they lost. And the Chiefs were up like they 20 lost. points or something. So, wait, are the Rams are defending champions. Yeah. Do they have their team back? Wait, who won yeah, the Super Bowl? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, they are? Wait, what? Except for Odell Beckham Jr. Because he tore his ACL which? in the Super Bowl. Hold on. Oh, and he's not back at all? Hold on. Hold on. I, I who, who won the Super Bowl this year? The, the Rams. Rams. La- last year. The Rams. The Rams. They, they, they did? Yeah, they played the Bengals. Remember? It was, uh, what's his name? Joe uh, Burrow? No, the, Dude, the, fuck, the oh, coach. Stafford. No, the coach. Am I thinking? Zach. Uh, oh, that was two years ago as the Buccaneers. Oh, from Nebraska. Yeah. The, the, the well, head coach on. of the Bengals. When, it was his name. Hold on. When did the Buccaneers play? When two did years Scott ago. Frost. That was two years ago? Not Scott Frost. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the thing. He, he, I don't, that guy became the coach the same time Zach, uh, Frost came the coach. What the fuck? Zach Taylor. I don't remember. And, uh, I don't remember the Super Bowl this year at Oh, you guys had the party. That's right. Fuck you. Oh, no, settle the fuck down. You probably went to your parents and watched the game. I, no, for I said I do Ate not some remember. fucking sandwich that you hated and ranted about. I My mom makes great sandwiches. Thank you. Okay, don't be a cock. That's fine. Don't be a cock. Yeah, I, I know. I like uh, her sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the sandwiches. <laughs> That's uh, like a fur burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's some love stains <laughs> in the back seat. Uh, I don't. Remember, I don't. I do not remember the. Uh, Last Super Bowl at all. I, I feel like it was kind of a boring one. Maybe. I don't think the... It was pretty boring. Yeah. The Bengals didn't show up. Yeah, they were not, like, prepared. Or the Ram, were the Rams Fuck that it, good? No. Aaron Donald just destroyed what them. The, the defensive tackle for yeah, the Rams. Yeah, that's right. And he uh, also... So just, like, a couple weeks ago, they had a scrimmage with another team. I don't remember who it was. And he ripped a dude's helmet off and beat him with it. Jesus <laughs> Christ! He didn't go to jail, didn't get suspended, no fine, no nothing. Jesus. He ripped a dude's helmet off and beat him with it. I think he hit two people with Do it. Do you know where he's from? Aaron Donald? Yeah. Uh, Penn, I think. I think it was in, yeah, I think he was Penn. Either that or Pitt? Uh, you might be right on Pitt. Yeah, I I, oh, I remember oh. him in the, in college oh. football. They made a fucking big deal about Damn, his nice fucking badass. <laughs> so, I can't remember. Now... Should I, if I was, if I'm going to get into the NFL, I don't know. Don't, you're too old. Do you, don't pick a team. I don't do oh, you want to get into, not play for. for. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Hey, thanks. Uh, hey, I can yell at children all I want. Uh, I, I, I do the college football so I can yell at kids. Uh, that makes sense. Anyway, so Derek, would you, so. They, they're Chiefs still younger than Should you. Should I get the Chiefs or not? Yeah, they have Patrick Mahomes. Like they're going to be good for like Chiefs the next 10 plus settle? years. Do you like the Chiefs? Program. You see my autographs? How long do you think uh, um, Andy? Andy Reid? Yeah, how long do you think he's got left? Uh, Big Red! He said he has no intention of retiring anytime soon. How old is he? 66 or 67, something like that, I think. How old is um, the other the Seattle? Bill Belichick? <laughs> no, Bel- Pete Carroll's old, too. Yeah, I thought he was like the oldest oh, I, I think actually it's Reid, Carroll, and, and Belichick, I think, are the three oldest. I think Carroll is in his 70s, I want to say. He might be. He looks good for his age, though. Yeah. <clears throat> he looks real good for his age. He's a good-looking gentleman, that's for sure. Well, first down. This certainly is not boring. I'll that's give it to sure. him. <laughs> Damn. Huh. I love NFL football. Well, I might be in the NFL now. Oh, I think it's way not, better style of play than not, college football. Not, oh, e- not yeah. every game is as exciting oh, as I'm college sh- football. I'm sure. Um, and this is what Derek was just telling me about the NFL. The plays are bigger. The hits are bigger. Hits are bigger. They got bigger dicks. <laughs> yeah, their dicks are bigger. <laughs> I don't think dicks the cheerleaders really look better. Oh, well, okay. their tits oh. are bigger. They show more cheerleaders. There you go. Oh, oh wide oh. open. Go Buffalo. I kind of want to stop the podcast and Shit, watch. I think the guy I'm playing ball. tonight is actually has Gabriel Davis. Who are you playing? I don't know the name of the dude. I have to look. You guys have that many strangers in your team, in your league, or whatever. I've met uh, most of them. Yeah. Would you? So I feel like I've always heard if you want to get into NFL, you have to play fantasy. And I've kind of rejected that this I've, whole time. No, no, I've been playing fantasy for like five years without giving a fuck about NFL. It's people I'm playing with, like teams, like like JNS teams. 
So I can uh, walk in and go, ha, 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 fuck you. No, you know, I don't know if that's, may, maybe you're not into it as much. Like, you're supposed to, like, then know the players, know oh, the teams, 100%. you know. Well, that's why I haven't gotten into it. You haven't, cha- you haven't changed get, your lineup? Well, I get, well, yeah, I always change. But the thing is, like, that's why I kind of didn't want to get into fantasy because, like, I get into things. And I've like, kind of felt was, the same like, way. Like, I was introduced to D&D once, and I'm fucking obsessed with it. So now you can only have so many so, obsessions. So that, that's the point of like if I got into fantasy, boy, your socks must have hated you growing up. I never understood sock jacking. I never got that socks. <laughs> I never got it. Jerking off into a sock. Oh, I mean, it's never made sense. You got to into me. you liked socks. You liked the ankles or what? No, I never. I don't. I don't get it. Where's your ski? Into the toilet. In your hand. Shower tissue paper. You must have gone through boxes of tissue. Uh, for a toilet paper roll, just keep it next to the bed. Like, like, like Cause similar. you also shit the bed a lot. Too. You put your dick yeah, in a yeah. toilet paper roll, like a cock sleeve. No, that would hurt a lot. Also, good, a lot of room left over. Uh. <laughs> Do you choke yourself when you jerk off? I've never tried that. <laughs> oh, I've never tried uh, choke jerking. I, I would, I'd like to, but I just set, I just set up like an apparatus. No, you uh, use the door. Release. You use a door. Because then you just fall backwards and the door really like, releases or whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that's how they do no. it. But that's David also how Carradine, they choke themselves. Chester Bennington, the guy from uh, Chester Copperpot. Uh, from Chester Copperpot. I don't know what that is. Even he couldn't make it. He's an expert. Chester Copperpot. I don't know. What that Chester Copperpot. You know what he's talking about? Not necessarily. Goonies never say uh, die. I've only really seen it once. Oh my god! I saw Goonies once at a church trip or like a, like a church night. And I regret, I hated it because since then, do the truffle shuffle because I was the only fat kid. <laughs> so I fucking hate that movie. Oh, that explains it. Uh, I don't hate the movie. I've only seen it once. You, you have but. some PTSD about that. Maybe. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I mean, I did not do it. but When you get it. angry, you, did it. you oh. actually grow more eyebrow hairs so I can hear him pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. He doesn't have eyebrows. I'm like, that's why I like Matt Smith so much. Get him I shut off and numb. Because he's all inbred and shit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Doesn't he have like the like jaw the, of like I'll, an yes, inbred yes, fucking I just, like... Yes, the last podcast I mentioned that was you had talking the about that? jaw, yes. Yeah. Hasberg? Hapsburg. 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 Okay. Hapsburger. Perhaps. Is, is he the best character of that show? I mean, he did just Strong like contender. storm the beach. He didn't have a single line that episode. He didn't say a single thing. Oh, shit, he didn't, did he? He read the letter to himself. Beat the shit out of the Beat the guy. shit out of the messenger. Why did he beat the messenger? Because he doesn't well, need his fucking king's brother's no, help. Saying, hey, the me- and then just started rowing, I you know, like, immediately. Of course, I, I, I you would think that he would be able to, like, call his fucking dragon, you know? Be like, The, dra- ah! the dragons That's what I kept waiting for. Yeah. Well, his dragon might, I think, makes too much noise or something. That was what I thought. His, his dragon sounds weird. It, not weird, but different. I mean, it looks different, too. It's, it's like a helicopter when it takes off. It's weird. Why is your dragon spinning so much? Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is why I haven't watched Why the, does your dragon have a bass drop? Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this is why I haven't watched the Lord of the Rings twice or once, all of them, because of it, I watched House of Dragon twice, and I was not disappointed with it a second time. But anyway, football now. Well, yeah, I'm kind of interested in this now. What do you think? Uh, so you're just predicting the Chiefs go to the Super Bowl? Uh, See, yeah, because got a boner for them. Hey, they got a good shot. Well, here's I mean, the thing, though. Like, they didn't do anything new this year, right? Oh, it's no, a, they it's totally a ch- revamped the changing team. league. You have to change. What, is, what have they changed? They're, well, they don't have Tyree Kill, so they're not going to throw as many down-the-field bombs. So they, they're actually – most NFL teams keep at least six receivers – Chiefs are only keeping five, but they have four tight ends. They're oh. probably going to run jumbo packages. They got four running backs too, and a fullback. How? So they're going to run a lot of jumbo Ooh, packages. But jumbo fullback, but they got hyper athletic tight ends and shit, so they can line up in a jumbo package, show you the run, <laughs> and those guys are going to go out there and like run around. You know, <laughs> how, how long do you think uh, Kelsey has left? I think a lot of while. <laughs> well, I don't think tight ends last that long in the NFL. I thought Tony Gonzalez played until he was the, damn near forty. The, the Antonio end, Gates uh, played till he was uh, damn near forty. The, well, the but how ends, long do you think he'll uh, last though? The tight ends aren't going to last too long with a bunch of jumbo packages. <laughs> damn, yes. got it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a good Ooh. five. Well, oh, he's thirty-two or three now. Oh shit! Yeah. 
I think I he's got a that. solid three years left in him. Okay, yeah. That's and he, he might still play. He probably won't be like a thousand yard guy anymore. Yeah. But. Well, he's he's obviously needs to like, you know, share his knowledge with he the new tight like ends. He was still like top three in every tight end receiving statistic last year. Really? So what about um, Brady? Did he not show up to a single um, preseason game? No. I feel like I saw that headline. Uh, or something I don't know was about going. That. I think he was out for like two weeks or eleven days or something. Well, like something that. going on with him and Giselle or something, right? That's the rumor. Who knows? The guy's got a butt chin. <laughs> <laughs> what? And has beat Mahomes how many times? I think every time they've played. I th- no, I thought they were like even. I thought it was like two and two or something dumb like that. No, I don't think they've played a whole lot. So they played once thought- with the Patriots, I believe, and they beat the beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game in overtime, and then they. Played it in the Super Bowl when the Chiefs were literally playing third string Bowl? offensive linemen. And got oh yeah, because the Buccaneers fucking destroyed them. Yeah, because we had no line. Yeah. The old line was literally we had third it's stringers like, in. Kind of like Nebraska at this point, even though it's their first string. Where where so uh, where are your Buccaneers? Under my bucket hat. Florida. Yeah. Tampa Bay. Buccaneers. No, no I, was, I get it. Yeah. Bucket ears? Yeah. So, uh, Where are your a, fucking a little, ears? A little kid dressed as a pirate goes trick-or-treating, and the, and the lady goes, Oh, you're a pirate. Where are your bucket ears? I don't have a bucking hat, lady. <laughs> yeah, All right. It's old, old. Well, you don't have to, like, dis, dis, disavow it like that. Because it's a stupid fucking own joke. Own it, though. You told it. You got to own it. It's not my joke. Yeah. Own it. Do you think the... But Randy will be good this year? The what will be good? Brady. Brady. Christ, isn't he like 50? He led the league in yards, receptions, How did touchdowns. They, who, did the Bengals beat them last year? No, I don't think so. Maybe. In I the playoffs. Who beat them? Uh, oh, they didn't go to the playoffs? No, it might have been the Rams that beat them. I don't know what league they're in. AFC or NFC? They're in the <laughs> NFC. Because the Chiefs were in the AFC and they played in the Super so that's what I yeah that's what I remember that's why Brady went to the Buccaneers because he was like I don't want to fucking play against Mahomes every year and the Patriots had lost a lot of good players that's why he wanted to leave the Bucks this year he got I can't believe he didn't get in trouble but he was colluding with Stephen Ross I think was his name the owner of the Dolphins he was going to retire again and then go to the Dolphins and play with with them. Real that so yeah he did retire this last year didn't no he, he didn't retire well he came back after like a week or something couple well he had a planned thing where he was gonna be gone he hasn't told anybody what that was but he said it was all planned all along supposedly is um Gr- Gronk oh, Gronk with him sack that bitch uh Gronk retired again he Although retired a lot of people speculate he might come back in the middle of the season yeah how would you feel if Urban Meyer was Nebraska's head coach. I know the name, but I don't know anything about it. He him. was Ohio First State, Utah, Florida. Florida. Every fucking college he goes to, he like kicks ass. He kicks ass, but there's also all this like um, backstage stuff that's like he's he's like a control freak, and he's also got like sounds like really bad anger issues. Well, his yeah. name is Urban. I'd be mad. He, he's had to retire multiple times because like he has I, I, he has such. He, it he sounds like he's got such horrible anger issues that he's literally tearing his heart in half. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like a it's, winner to me. He won like true. what two championships but in a row or something? At Ohio Florida? State, yeah. Result. And then, he, Florida, then yeah. he had to leave Florida and retire for two years but or something because he, he like his doctor was like, You're gonna fucking die, dude. And then he came back to the uh Ohio State and fucking won a couple of championships. So one is, championship. Isn't it, isn't at least one, yeah. Well, and then it, had like migraine issues and retired. Well, is, isn't there NCAA rules or if the if your, if your coach dies during a game, you win the championship automatically? Not at all. Has that ever happened? Somebody ever it has to have. A I coach think, died? I feel like a coach has had a heart attack during a game. I feel like I remember seeing that stat before. Oh yeah. It's like the only time it's ever and it's gotta be NFL. Let's see. No, no way well. You could imagine a college football player or coach doing that. Oh, that's why I've been saying Has so many a coach draft ever ads. died on the sidelines during a football game? It's that time of football. year. Yeah. This you, week. Have you been playing the foosball behind my back? Um, no, but I've thought about gambling on football before. I don't know what stopped so, me. So there's a guy named Chuck Hughes. Don't know enough. He's the only player to date to die on the field during a game. Hmm. He's a player. That's a player. What year? Yeah, but didn't didn't some guy what? take a nineteen seventy one? Yeah, okay. but didn't, 
Wasn't there some documentary about Stricken that game, TCU Coach Dies? Oh. 1971. Same year? Or yeah, s- I guess so. Wow. Now, wasn't there a documentary? I, I remember. It was a documentary where Texas a guy Christian University brought a revolver onto Pittman. the field. A revolver? Yeah, and shot a bunch of people. And then he goes, life's a bitch, and shot himself in the yeah, head. Had a heart attack. I, th- I think I think at some point Bruce Willis was in the documentary. Bruce Willis? <laughs> You're making shit up. Yes! The, the Last Boy Scout. Never the seen opening it. to Last Boy Scout. Sounds made up. Yeah, so the, I can't remember some player. Basically, a, a, a running back, whatever. I can't remember. What, did you hear about the Boy owned, Scout owned news a, today? On a bunch of movie, on a bunch of money. So he took a gun onto the field and was shooting people that were trying to tackle him. And then he shot himself. I was like, what the fuck am I, I have watching? I've seen that clip. The Last Boy Scout. And the only thing, the other thing I remember is uh, when he. Bruce Willis catches his wife cheating, I think. And he's like, oh, well, you slipped and you fell on my wife? Or something like that. Anyway. What's up? Uh, but that never happened. So the in Boy Scouts class. today <laughs> just got uh, sued what? for like, I don't know how many millions of dollars. It was America's largest lawsuit for a case of child rape, effectively, Dude. by the Boy Scouts, where they, they had like all these guys that have come forward over the years, going back decades, talking about getting raped or molested by their scout leaders. Hmm. So they're suing the scouts in general, or the they they, guys? they successfully sued it. It went through, it wrapped up today, and I don't remember how much money it was for, but it was the largest ever such settlement in U.S. history. Yeah, but they don't. Wow. Well, how is that possible? They don't allow gays. They only allow Christians. How is it possible that all these boys have been abused? I don't understand. I'm so the same confused reason right the Catholics. I was actually thinking oh. the Catholics probably would have been worse. They, they got just it, like they, got they don't have to release down. that information. They got it nailed down, don't they? They the really, they really know like how Jesus to, to the cross. For for how long though? Because like, think about our generation. How many how many of our generation are Catholics? Like ten percent. Uh, I don't know the facts and figures, but I know one. How Catholic. many people do you know go to church? Your our age. Oh no, no. Also, yeah, but I also don't hang out with churchos. Well. Churches. I don't know. Yeah, you used to. I thought I used oh, to yeah. play in a band. I, I used to. Well, I used to play in the church band because that's the only place I could fucking play an instrument. Yeah. At that time in my life, because everyone else had kids. So. And were there anyone your age there? Uh, no. Besides the band. The band wasn't even my age. Yeah. I was the youngest guy in the band. Hmm. That's what I'm curious. To, like, what is the church like? Is it just like old people? All you can see, you know, like, um, a couple of, like people holding their babies, maybe. It but... depends on where you go. Like, there's still the like, mega churches. You know, like yeah, mega churches. Um, those kids. Oh, okay, perfect. So, oh, hey, perfect. Okay, so, uh, so perfect. Derek, Derek, you're saying no? I did. I finally talked to Matt today about church, the Ben fundraiser. So I finally talked to him today or yesterday. Who's Matt? The guy that put together the fundraiser we went to for Ben, Paige's friend Ben. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finally got to talk to him. So we're we're getting the ball rolling on that. But that kind of reminds me because I went to you know a funeral of a friend my age. Year, a couple years ago, and it was at um, the old Trinity Trinity Church, which is now like Life Gate or Life Water or something. Oh I yeah, that's a bad one. Uh, but so, that's a super his one. memorial service was forty five minutes of fucking band playing. Really? Of just playing, just you know, just that repetitive, horrible worship music. I'm so I'm like, I was with that by mom. I'm like, mom, just text him when this fucking over, because I'm not here to listen to this horse shit. It's a memorial service. Not a fucking worship service. What the fuck? What the fuck? I was so confused. How long was but the service? Well, the memorial service it was like an hour and a half because of so much fucking music. I was really pissed because like, I yeah, the band is cool and all, but like you don't you don't get an eight minute solo. It was also very know? high high production value. They were they were. I say good. What, which were church were you at? You went to Ben's memorial service. No, no, no. no. My, my 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 friends' memorial service just made me think about it. Maybe reminded me that I wanted to tell you that. Which church was this? Tr- like old Trinity Lutheran Church up on like up on Dodge. Now it's like life something. Life game How, or something. How, we're on on Dodge. One hundred forty fourth, maybe. I don't know. Oh, so it's like it's a super church. It's been around for a long time. But it's super. It's a mega church. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. It's not. It's not like King of Kings big, but it's pretty big. Uh, I think. I don't know. I went there once when I was like. In how, how many does it seat? I have no idea. But you guess. Had, but it had like theater seating. With cup holders and everything. So, half of the century, I think? No, 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 no. Chai? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, it's not a fucking stadium. Well, what is it then? It's just a big fucking church. I don't know. 
It's like gate. I wasn't really looking for it. Well, there's some churches that are like you know our arenas. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but they're usually down south. Most of them are down south. There's Most some super churches in Nebraska. Nebraska. I don't know if we have any arenas in Omaha. Oh yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. I've been to a couple. K- of them. Kia Kings is the only one I can think of. All right, off Interstate. I think I don't know. I've been there. Hmm. Anyway, I've seen them. I grew up with some family friends. They were Lutheran. I don't know what church it was they went to, but I, I think Christ it was Community. in Pavilion or Ralston. Maybe Christ. Massive Family. on the inside. Ralston. They, yeah, I think so. Was just I the, think that one on the Tri Faith campus. That's a big one. That's a mega one. Then there's that one in North O. It's a church in North O. That's like a like a stadium, a big fucking stadium. It's like it's they had there. they had like full like tennis and basketball courts and racquetball. Yeah. I mean, it's and then that the, the priest the plays main, racquetball. It's a, whole, it's a whole community. Not not while he's preaching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but anyway, the, the the point of though is like. You know, regular, like like normal sized churches, like the church. My, I guess I could say my church. I don't go there, but like it's been it's been dead for ten years. I mean, no one goes to church. Yeah, old people. My mom still goes to church, kinda. Does she feels bad? Probably. I don't know. Does she collection plate it? Is your mom a sinner? <laughs> Does I she think, sin? I think she'd be the least. She have a friend named Jesus. <laughs> Who's your favorite little rascal? Is it Alfalfa? <laughs> or is it Spanky? <laughs> Sinner. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Tommy Boy. Yeah. Oh, you know where the weight room's at? You don't know any quotes from any 90s movies. What? He was fucking raised in a church, apparently. Ha! It was Lutheran, so it was like diet church. Where, where are you? Oh, Did you watch Veggie Tales? Is that what you know? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, my I up, god. I grew up on Veggie Tales and Dave. I was Larry like Tomato. I was yeah. like capital C Christian, and I don't even know what Veggie Tales is. I don't get it. Uh, animated propaganda. It's just Bible stories with vegetables. Yeah, but I, I, I really enjoy it. Did you? Great songs. Yeah, I watched the shit of it growing up. Did you? I thought you were a Baptist. That's like Christian. Yeah, I'm Christian too, and I didn't watch it. Well, you got a cool one. Apparently. Small town Christian can't afford veggie tales. I think so. That's why. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm Catholic. Catholics don't do shit like that. Yeah, they. They, uh, yeah, they don't do is... vegetables? <laughs> no, you do no, fish do, fries. They do fish. Damn it. Damn it, you beat me to it. And my, drink. One of my favorite jokes, though. Because like, you don't eat fish on, in Lent, during Lent? I had fish in Boston. But you ate meat. <laughs> <laughs> I had lobster. Crabs. Chowder. Chowder. Red or white? White. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. not New York clam chowder. <laughs> I don't know where red clam chowder comes from. New York. There is no uh, bloody, such thing. Bloody yeah, clams. Yeah, uh, okay. No, it's... Mer- uh, I always a, a, a Catholic joke my dad loves telling to Lutheran people it's uh, the Lutheran that converted to Catholicism and the priest goes you were born a uh, Lutheran you were raised a Lutheran and you are now Catholic and then one day someone came over to his house on a Friday and he was grilling up steaks I'm like wait a minute you can't eat steaks on a Friday and he goes oh hold on he grabs his garlic salt you were born a steak you were raised a steak you are now fish <laughs> and, and I just it's a you know, Clean yeah. throwaway, but I, I, Legit. I still kind of find that it, funny. It, it's it's perfect. I mean, honestly, it's, it's only four oh, Sundays. Oh, out it's of the trans year. meat. You can't they had some about good it. steak deals over at Baker's. I almost bought one. This steak identifies as a fucking tilapia or whatever. Tilapia. Hey, you can you pull that down. Yeah. Tilapia. 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 Tilap X. Tilapia. I believe that's the preferred pronoun. <laughs> or no, that's not even the right word. Word. <sighs> Oh, Jen, it's these fish. Ah, God, ugh. I didn't want to misidentify the fish, even though I'm t- the fish I'm talking about is a cow. Cowfish. Yeah, the cow identified as a fish. I've just explained this. Is yeah. that the fish? Tuna fish? Either kind of fish. It's not particular. Mm, this is some juicy branzini. Mm, All right. Juicy. Uh, God, I haven't had... I, oh, I have some steaks in my freezer. I, I haven't cooked a steak in a couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, dude. I cannot... Fuck the price of steaks. God damn. Dude, the price of everything, uh, yeah, right? But, yeah. No. <clears throat> price of chicken, for example. Uh, just, just a bit of... Uh, con- uh, um, what's the word looking for here? Um, Inflation. Context. When I started going to Sam's Club, I could get boneless skillet chicken breast... Boneless, skinless chicken breast for a buck sixty a pound. Now it's you know two twenty a pound. Some could, shitty chicken breast then. It's just a lot of it. It's just bulk. Yeah, yeah. The price of meat 
I can usually, usually get a 10 pound tube of ground beef for 15. I can't. Whatever. The, the, the beef price has gone up way more than any yeah. other protein. There's a, there's a beef conspiracy. They don't want you to eat beef. They don't. They the want cow farts are chicken. destroying it's, the atmosphere. Yeah, no, no, the beef, cow farts. Yeah, yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, large, large uh, cattle is, is a disaster for the environment. That's why you just buy a full cow on your own. Well, it's still a cow that was raised in a feedlot. I mean, it was still. No, you don't have to buy one from a feedlot. True, you can buy one true. from a farmer that's just selling it out of his pasture. True. Yeah, but it's also a real motherfucker to deal with. Like trying to get that. It's also not any cheaper. You have to have a deep freeze, obviously. But yeah. no, it so, saves well, in the end no, because I, inflation is going to keep going up. The prices it, it, are only going in meat. to keep getting more. Invest in a steak. Yeah. But you got to eat it within a year. Uh, no, 2016, I got a cow <coughs> uh, with, with my boss and we, we split a cow, a quarter cow. And it was like, we got ripped off. We got fucked. And I want to do it again just to avoid, you know, case prices, but it's still like. Fuck! I don't think I could eat that much. It's not. Beef. It's you're not getting. I don't even eat that much just, beef to begin with. Looks like a lot to eat somewhere. High I don't quality I don't, beef. It's higher quality beef. You know, because you know like it's said, all coming from the same. Like I, said, I like I my beef spoon fed, massaged daily, in an open pasture. Do you like tube steak? I have a tube snake. Oh, you're talking about dogs, Derek. What the? F- I'm talking about penis. Yeah. No, no, no one f- spoon feeds a cow. Uh, have you ever had Kobe steak? Dude. Those are like fucking. That's ve- veal or whatever. That's like no, no. That's veal. Veal is veal. Veal's veal. Yes. Wagyu is massaged, fed beer, beer. And, and they don't ever. They're not supposed to touch the ground. Beer like suspended. They feed, no, that's no, no. No, that's that's the Krav Maga or whatever. The what Krav Krav Maga? Yeah. The Krab-Maga. fighting technique? Krav Maga or something like that. It's like foof car or something. I can't remember. Hey, will you guys stop looking at the guy in the Speedo? No. Batista in the Speedo? Oh, is this Knives Out too? Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Ah, oh, Glass, oh, yeah, yeah, glass, yeah. Onion. glass what Onion. What the fuck? It's, hey, that's fine. You Ooh, know Netflix? What? Ooh. Ryan Johnson, stay awesome. the fuck away from Star Wars. Make yeah. all the Knives Out movies you want. It wasn't Knives Out. Hey, so what, whatever stay, it happened. Was. It said Glass Onion, Knives Out. It was Knives Out. No. It yes, it was. It was a, it's the sequel to Knives Out. Look it up. It said Knives Out. Back it up. It said it. Back it up. Did you not read? A Knives Out mystery. It's not it Knives is... Out 2. <clears throat> I, see what you're, I see what you're saying. It is. He has a fucking trilogy. But planned. it's on Netflix. Yes. So it's not a theatrical. You didn't movie. know that he had a deal with Netflix to do more Knives Out movies? No. He does. He's got three more coming. What has okay. happened with the guys that did the original Game of Thrones? d and I hope they choked on their own cock. <laughs> they fucking... They we, choked each other. We looked this up. They, we yeah. looked this up. I thought a couple weeks ago. They they Did made a, they made a, some terrible movie or something that no one's seen, and they haven't done anything since. I think. But I think they. Honestly I love that they have had all those deal. different deals they signed, and yeah. like nothing has ever come. They up. They were supposed to go to Star Wars, and they were supposed to have a Netflix series. I feel like, and they have yeah, nothing's. And then the way it ended, everybody was like, you know what? Mm, nah, we're gonna need to see some scripts beforehand. Yeah. They were fucking not prepared to do that. And honestly, mark my word, House of the Dragon, Hot D, will be better than Game of Thrones. I mean, it's not that hard how it ended, but it will be better. We will go down remembering Hot Hot D, not Game of Thrones. Uh, I, oh, yes. I, just, yeah. I don't think, I think that actually they will remake Game of Thrones in a couple of years. Man, yeah, maybe like 10. You just got to remake the last like four seasons, yeah, three and a half seasons. but no... Be, uh, one through two, three two, two were pretty close, but two there was things missing, and don't touch me. it could be extended. It could definitely be extended. It should be like a. Yeah. Well, I, I was it irritated. needs to be an animation because it's never going to be filmed. Yeah, it needs to be an animation. Well, I was style. irritated with the like episode. Was it season four where literally nothing happened? No, that's when Oberyn got his head jammed in. Ugh. Hey, that's it though. Why don't you fucking read the books? God. Because the like, fucking Storm of Swords is like a fucking. Knife to your fucking gut. You love fucking reading about Danny and John, and then Storm of Swords. Oh no, wait, no, it's Feast for Crows. Feast for Crows shows up, no. and it's no characters. None of the characters you know are in it. It's all new characters. Don't yell at me. It's fucking infuriating, and it, it's like what. Also, what I hate about House of Dragon, even though I love it, this show is preventing George R. R. Martin. From finishing the real series, you know. Yeah, 
He is distracted as a producer on this show that they're going to him asking him questions about things, you know, and he's he'll never finish typing it. on his little no, fucking he'll, typewriter. He'll die. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunately it's sad. There is a there is a it's Joe Montana, you idiot. Some sort of like YouTube collection of uh, writers have come together and are writing the Winds of Winter for George R. R. Martin. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Crowd as long work. as we get a book, yeah, it's kind of it's it's crowdfunded yeah. essentially, and they're like. I can't remember how they're getting away with it because oh, because it's fan fiction or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. it's fine. And but I like listened to one of the chapters the other day and I was like, oh my god, this is what I've been waiting for. You know, it's like another chapter essentially that I haven't read in fucking ten years. Because that's how long it's been since the last book has came out. Yeah. He still writing it in the eighties eighties. At least early nineties. No. At least early nineties. I just looked this up because talking with dad about this. The uh, first 96. three, the first three came out within 96. like a year or three years, yeah. and then the fourth one took a while, and then this fifth one took even like longer, like six yeah. years between the two, and now it's been over ten. So, either way, House of the Dragons going to go down in history as a great series, and Rings of Power will be forgotten. You're a cock. Shut the fuck up. I'm just predicting the future. Predict he's nuts. What are you, Negro what are, what are you guys' predictions? Watch your words. I'm pretty excited for Negro Domist. That's what his name is. Who? Uh, no. Chappelle Show. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Mooney. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Arsenio Hall will have another show called Good Morning Black America. It will air at noon. And I never <laughs> understood that. I never oh, understood God. it. Oh, until, I just watched well, that episode. What do you want? What do you want? My favorite internet. one is, why do white people like Wayne Brady so much? Because Wayne Brady makes <laughs> Brian Gumbel look like Malcolm X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's wrap it up. Yeah, I think that's about it. Well, well, welcome to Crash Talk. I'm Dave. That's Lane. And that's John. Yeah, we'll, we'll conclude more later on. Goodbye.